Cook, mae Selwebeth yn Sneiseg ar gael ar y bottom coch. On S4C Now, live cup final action and for English language commentary on Sky Plus, Freeview or Virgin Media, use the red button. If you have a TiVo box or a Sky Q box, then access settings and use the audio selection option. Any problems, then get in touch with our viewers hotline. Dyma'r Pildroed and Scorio. And there are not going to be able to do it. That's my mess here in bare fight. Screw fix sprint. A novi pale droid are as per Codi Cupan Cantar Tumor, a bala, I'm a cho cantar yoid, the Kekona, I'm a cho did so an all and all. Croiso, you don't have an all Cupan Nathaniel, MG, Cupan a gang rail, a game from Dio and when Maur a gang rail, a game sim view, Van Hen, RS Pedorek, and Bren Houndy Sadun, Flounza Yaunaki, Flounza, you went to the Jones Evans, the Cano Company, we went from Cupon Mawain, near a Greg. Tim of a Talcan Khaled, Ara Greig, Profoido, Pusimiliani Honhadi. Indeed, my hand and Rubath Anno the Aun in eight. Of course, Ara level and Osman Augusta Lair shows your medals, a Sintanewis and Kamid, a Tlusena, Ond, Hendir Gora Wettin, Drossable and others with that, Kason Debody, but in fact, or Envar, Ond, Ar Indu Dith, Osman Diama, Evoy Tima Gora Rakai. Tim Quaits and Shur, par for my mind event. Kekonas have a record aura, prong of the Globar Hinobrid, and Mount Fainal of a private again a bala, Tibeth and Gubodal. Yeah, round of a null. You mean higher round, yeah, Tervanol. Well, Hore or better than a Spadoli team, Moya. Well, Crew Kekonan, in case you caught the cup on a mature dead throne, a boys of Bala, in case you're going to name a truck and terrioids. Well, Austin Stavak now with Kekonan, at him in them Danny, a mature dead throne, Tirica Blaser, near Timal Dusha Moya Hina. Ond, mae'r gyntaf yn special. A dwi'n meddwl i, I fechyn y bala, meddwl... Sa nhw'n cael eu dwylo ar, ar y gwpa na hen yma. Mae nhw'n meddwl mae parti fysa na hen yma. E, Sa un ancam dy feddwl, ti isio dathlu i'r holl beth. Ond, mae hyn yn gallu effeithio chdi hefyd. Hyrwyd mae'r pwysa dysgwydd ydy meil... Ydyn ni'n mynd i neiti. Lle i ceu cona, diom yn broblem, mae nhw wedi hen arfer. Ydyn, dim ymheiaeth am hynny. Nid ydych mlaen yn fawr ar gyfer hon. Nawr mae criw sgorio yn criw clyfar iawn. Mae wedi bathu term newydd. Nid ni'n gael cyfaliad nesaf gyda Lasana Mendes y gŵr sy'n creu i'r goliau i'r bala. Brennan, a assist, speaking here, assist, la, assist, assist, assist. Simot, go look on. How's that? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you Thanks too. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for joining me on this quite cold and crisp winter morning. We are going to go for a little walk afterwards, but we're going to grab a coffee. Have a chat to begin with because there's just a few days to go until the League Cup final. How much are you looking forward to? <laughs> Thank you for having me. Um, looking forward for it. Um, massive game. We'll try to treat it like an old game, but it's, it's an important game for us, for Bala. It's a final, but control your, your nerve, control yourself, and then just give your all. Then, then yeah, it's my first final also. So um, I'm looking forward for it, and then I hope to 
to do something so we can uh, win the game. And a chance to have your name written in the Bala history books. Oh, hopefully. And my name should be there. Well, it needs to be there. And hopefully one day it will be there. Hopefully Saturday. Yeah, hopefully Saturday, yeah. Lastly, you're without a doubt, you know, the inform man at my ticket this season. 13 assists. Just how much are you enjoying your football at the moment? Um, I've been enjoying it a lot, to be honest. Yeah, they, um, they gave me that freedom of, of just express myself. And 13 assists, to be honest, um, I have to give it to, to the lads. That's, obviously, if you have the players like Nath, um, David, or Venice, all you need to do is just put the ball in the box, really, and then they'll do their job, you know what I'm saying? But credit to them, more than me, anyway. A few goals under your belt as well, especially the one that stands out is the crucial one that you scored in the European qualifiers. Just how much of a highlight was that goal? Oh, for you? That, it was it was it was amazing scoring a goal um, in the Europa League. The result didn't go our way, but um, but yeah, that's that's a goal that I'll never forget. To be honest, yeah. And what about your background before? You know, where did your love of football come oh, from? Spain. Spain or um Who is your team? Who's your team in Spain? Spain, um it was it was a local club called um Roquetas de Mar. Um that yeah, I grew up over there, I lived there nineteen years. And then um I had the chance to come over to England in two thousand and fourteen. So a few years in the English system playing for Radcliffe, then Staley Bridge, then Colin Bay, and then from Colin Bay got signed to Bala. So you swapped the uh, sunny Spanish climate for this lovely January weather in North Wales. <laughs> <laughs> the League Cup, Bala have never won it. How much would it mean if you guys got your hands on that cup this weekend? Oh, it would mean a lot for everyone that does behind doors work in the Ruth, Nige, Dave, all the work they put into into this small club and make it so big for us, for us to win this cup. It will be like, not a payback, but it will, be, it will be massive for the club. And looking at the last four games you've played against Connors Key, you've only managed to score one goal against them. Why do you think that is, and what would you say needs to change on Saturday? <sighs> like I said, it used Put to... your manager cap on now. <laughs> they're, 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 oh, they're tough, they're tough, they're, they're strong, they're physical. They don't give you lo a lot of chances, and then the little chances you get, you need to take them. If not, <laughs> they're, good, they're good at what they're doing, to be honest. And for them, it's another achievement to go three three years in a row. It's, they're going to try to take it, but we, we need to stop that. We're gonna, we want to stop that, and we want to bring Bala a trophy this season because we've been doing so well on getting into Europa, getting second place but we need this to be honest for, for, for Bala Well last year we are top of the world and hopefully this is how you feel on Saturday but not as wet hopefully Oh hopefully wet or champagne but yeah Well massive good luck but Thank you. I think we better get back to the car now yeah. <laughs> Sean Edgar Alessandro Mendes, we've been pointing with you, Gwynna. It's your bed, we can't park here, Alessandro Mendes, are a kai, medical shock, I've ever got. It's to me, but in money, it's a court, goodness, in Cadu Glawi for Disco Gwech. My concern was that, when I didn't know Kay are a kai, well, Bala, I've been going to all the other team, no, no, or Vetor Gorsin Cray, or Vela than Glades. When I think on the Cray, we're in Bala, the Vantage, I think, well, the team, and that are Proviad or Kevner Blind, when I. Oh, it's and dead. Bob in tomorrow with a team grown and dead. A team bala, the Wastad are in your team, ma. The Lebanon are going to wait in the gun red. The Lebanon Wastad and Agosta had to break. But he could send up a deep problem. And our inrudur not, ma gan the nor talent, ma gan the nor proviad. See there in the team, ma. Ma gan the nor Chris Venables, Dave Edwards. The Lebanon played game in inruin. And well, he's on a ganarek. My record no never been kicked on problem. game. A game on Ugrivan, Gorforol. Um, Colin Go beth your own with a defender, you trick, go beth your sabunch no, bed your trick, 
i wneud yn siŵr bod nhw'n gallu bod yn fwy clinigol o flaen gol. O gen i glywed, gan Colin Keaton nesa a Neil Gibson, dyrch ni glywed gan y rheolwyr. Gibson, ti cyrraedd Keikona, haf dweitha fel rheolwyr i gymlynedd e fyny nes i Colin Keaton gyrraedd y bala. I gymlynedd yn ôl. Neb yn siarad yn fyrbwyll y ffôl, dy siane Dafydd. Colin, this is a cup that Ballatown have never won despite reaching two finals. So third time lucky to make some history today. Yeah, hopefully it'd be good for everybody involved with the club to um, obviously try and get the win. But it's going to be a tough test. Connors Key are a well-drilled side and, you know, they've won it a few times and, you know, hopefully we can cause, cause an upset and obviously try and win it today. I'm not huge on personal accolades, really. It's about, you know, creating a group and a team spirit and moving things forward. And I think that we came into a a football club that probably had a difficult season last season, finishing ninth. You know, um, there's a lot of movement in the summer with players leaving. So it was important we got back together. We uh, built a squad and a togetherness and we tried to compete at the top end of the table. And I feel we're doing that at the moment. You know, cup final today, which is great. Court final of the Welsh Cup and second in the league at the moment. So things going well for us so far. Dave Edwards, is his first experience of playing in a final today. You know, just how much of an influence has he had on this Bala squad since he joined? As a footballer, the influence that he's had is absolutely unbelievable. You know, the way he expresses himself, the way he conducts himself away away from the pitch as well. His mannerism, everything about him, he's a, he's a true pro. And a true gen who absolutely respects the club, respects the league and respects everybody involved in it. And can't praise him enough. And, um, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a true gen with a, a great ability on the pitch as well. You know, we have got six or seven experienced players, been there, done it, won league titles, played in big games, won cup competitions, so we'll be, uh, we'll be pulling on that massively over today. However, you know, it's all right having done that, that's in the past, today's about today, and uh, it's important that we go out there today and try and put on a performance that get, brings the trophy back to Koniski Nomads for a third successive time. Like I say, it's a really tough test. I think Koniski have got one of the biggest squads in the league, if not the biggest. So it'll be a tough test and um, hopefully we can go about it right. You know, we, um, we've been doing well lately, but I still think we've got another gear to go and we need to get into that gear today to win it. Colin, do you have a vote? Do you have a vote? Do you have a vote? Do you Mr Malcolm Allen. And barod amdan o ni yn y pwynt sylwebu pnawn da, Malks. Gai, daflu'r cwestiwn yma ato ti yw un hen bryd i'r bala ennill rhywbeth? So now I'm a proverb. Can I do her grew cake on that and then wedding? When we're in case you're cup on a maturity throne all and all. I'm going to grow a career pet for a honey no. In case you're any cup on a maturity throne all and all. Find for that Honana Spadoli novel, Hurrywear Marks. Malcolm, diolch y fawr iawn o ein Malcolm y sôn am rhoi'r enwau mawr fyna. Yr enw mwyaf, he bos pan chynnig chi'r yrfa fe yw Dave Edwards. Ond dwi wedi oed i chwarae yn fy rownd yrfanol o blant, yn fy trwy cyntaith yn fy chwarae yn rownd yrfanol. Mae'n nhw wedi roi'n sioc i bawb fi gredu. Yn dyn sicr, mae'r lwyddiann na fo wedi dod efo Wolves i gyrraedd i'ch gynghrair Lloegr yn ennill y bencampwriaeth. Felly, hei, fydd o'n brofiad newydd iddo fo. Ond diolch yn mynd i fod yn or nervus. Ond be mae Dave Edwards wedi wneud y ddi, mae wedi dod i fewn i bala parchu'r clwb, parchu'r gyngrair. Diolch yn mynd i fod yn cash os licid i. Um, mae ma o'n mor mor broffesiynol fel oedd Colin Keaton yn sôn. Felly mae hwn yn ddyn a ddechrau gem i Gymru yn ebyn Slofacia yn Euro 2016. Dyna'r profiad sydd gan y fo. Ond 
Bet yn i licio mae'r gem yma ydy i'r holl profesu gan y fo, mae'n gwneud bydd Aaron Edwards sydd i chwarae ar y lefel yma drwy yrfa. Da ni'n cweit yn siŵr pwysio mynd i ar gael y gora o'r frwydr yna. Sydd wneud hyn o'r blan. Mae'n siŵr dwi'n cyfwyno o'r glenni tledu. O, ei, Aaron Edwards sy'n cael yn sylw ni nesan. Nid i clywed gan un o gymeriadau mawr y bala. Dewch chi'n i glywed gan un o chwaraewyr mawr y gynghrair. Aaron Edwards. A thnicki John i gwrdd o fe, ond dim Aaron, na nicki, oedd seren y sgwrs yma chwaith. Gefn i chi, pryd na thi ddechrau dod yn amlwg bod na dalent hyma ar y cae pêl-droed? Os dim o'n gwybod yw daid o'r bydau yn allan o'r ymddangos yn cynnig bod na ddawn, ti'n ei mwyn gwybod beth o'r ymddiddwad chwaith de. Ie, mae'n rhaid bod chi'n andros o falch. O, ar eich gwybod nhw'n ddod yn taid balch yr gwen o'r glist i glist. Ie, ie. Dwi eisiau gofyn hanas yr holl ffocsys mae chi rwan. Be nath wneud i chi gychwyn casglu? Dechreuodd, Aaron, a o'n i'n gweld iawch mewn, mi'n di fod yn... Mi'n bod be fod o'n di arwain iddo o'n union, ond mi'n gweld bod na'r rwbath yn y ddyfodol yn dweud de. A dyn, dwi'n gweld bod bryd i chi gyfle i gweld hyn i gyd de. O fi'n gwybod o gyd o hyn fe, mae fi'n cymryd nhw'n allan ar atig ddo, mae fi'n siop o... Be fod Kevin fi'n cymryd nhw'n allan. Ti'n wedi gweld bob box, ti'n bob lwyd hyn, a'n... Mae eisiau cymryd oriau mynd trwy, ond ar ôl i fi gorff e bydd o'n rhywbeth i edrych yn ôl ar a ti'n bod yn enjoy o. Fel chwn i ddech ddiwrs. Mae gennych chi byth ynnas arbennig iawn, sy'n un dweud. Oes. Dwi'n i'n mynd. Yes. So dych chi wedi cadw o'r holl bapurra, bapurra newydd i gyd. Dwi'n i'n mynd. 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 Mae'n strion gael o'r yn bob un o'r darn y papur yna dde. I fi, wedi dilyn y gynghrair ar streip hwnna dde. Yes, thank you. I chi, wel, fel taid. Mae siŵr oedd o'n anodd i ddychmygu chi yn rwle arall. Thank you very much for the cup final, Marwa. Heblaw am y saint yn newydd. Oedd o'n syniadiad dewr i bod pwrpas wedyn ni fynd i geu conad oedd. Be oedd yn mynd rhyw ddyfeddol dde bryd hynna? Wel, tŵr mae un ar ddeg tymor mewn. Unrhyw swydd yn ond mae mewn pêl-droed, mae'n pobl newid ti mae, ti mae'n dau, tri blwydd i'n fa, mae dwi wedi bod un ar ddeg, so mae'n oedd o'n yn teimlo'n iawn i wneud ar y pryd, a weithiau ti wedi'n trwsio dy got instinct fel ti'n dweud, a na fi jyst mynd yn maen efo, a na tho dangos yn athro gweithio yn y tymor cyntaf, so... Dwi'n mynd hoffi sydd maen nhw'n chwarae yn dweud yn... Beth ach chi'n lycio gweld yn wahanol, cyfeir nhw? Sa'r bêl droed. Y pasio'r bêl lle hitio i rwle yn... Fel nhw, ond dwi'n gas yn dweud yn gweithio'n dweud. Jyst lopio'r bêl ymlaen ac yn beithio bod yn fynd yna. Ti wedi meddwl cael taid yn ystafell newid o gwbl? Na, na. Ti'n mynd byw fo fi'n dweud. Na, na, na. Ac wrth gwrs, man y gyfle i eich fynegu methol arall i'r holl fyddala ar eich sgyn ti, ddiwedd mi sio nawr efo rownd erfynol cwpan y gyngrair. Ie, rhywbeth arall gobeithio, da ni'n gallu ennill yn ôl ynol, so edrych yn maen iddo. Wyt ti yn 34, Ran? Faint mwy o bocsys fel hyn, ti'n meddwl da ni'n mynd i weld yn yr atig yn sydd tai fy nain. Dwi'n gwybod fi jyst yn enjoy o bob blwyd, bob gem rhywun, jyst trio, ti'n meddwl, ti'n gwybod fi'n gwybod fi'n enjoy o rhywun, ti'n meddwl. Na o hyd, ti'n meddwl, mae pêl droed ti'n siwch o rat, ti'n gallu, so... Pan ddawr, cyfno, sydd fydd wedi ddim licio edrych yn ôl ar dyrfa? Dwi wedi bod yn landros o locus, ond mae wedi bod yn gwaith caled, ond mae wedi bod yn werth o hefyd. Be o'n dan o chi taid sydd fyddwch chi'n edrych yn ôl ar y cyfnod yma? Mae wedi bod yn amser arbennig a dwi wedi mwyn hau rhan iawn i bob munud o hwnna fo yda. Dwi wedi bod yn ail wedyn dwi. Ie, lle fyddwch chi arbenn wythnos o wedyn? Lle yw'n di chwarae golf newydd. A da di taid a dyma taid, dyma Will fel arfer yn gwylio Aaron. Mae cymnogaeth y teulu mor bwysig, oedd y mor falch. Nag oedd e, Owain, Aaron Edwards. Mae'n dweud eich pump mis nesa. Chi ddim eisiau mewn i dadl show us i meddwl, sydd o'n show us i meddwl. Chi ddim eisiau mewn i dadl Aaron Edwards. Deg uwch gyngred Cymru. Saith gwaith y cwpan yma, pump cwpan Cymru, ond faint sydd ar ôl yn y tanc.
mae'n dip yn dal ar ôl dwi'n meddwl. Um, mae ma, ma, math o chwriwr. Eich a tiedd ydyd ydy, sbi'r oed a meddwl mae'n finished. Di hwnnw ddim yn finished. Er ydyd, mae ffitru ddo dal yna. Mae ddylanwa ddo ar gemau dal yna. Mae yr amser i gyrraedd y cwrt cosbi ar yr amser perffaith i sgorio goliau fel ma a goliau pwysig dal yna. Felly, mae'n dal ddigon i ddod gan Aaron Edwards a, a mi, mi fydd o'n cael dylanwa ar y gemau yma heb os. Ti synnu bod y ddim wedi cael cyfle i fynd i lefel uwch. Mae mwy a mwy yn cael y cyfle nawr. Mae fe bron yn 35, dros y fe bron yn 25, bod y mwy y cyfle gyda fe'n yr oes yma. Mae'n anodd gwybod uh, yn union beth i ddim mynd drwy i feddwl o dros y blynyddoedd. Eich bod o'n jyst hapus hapus i fod ar y lefel yma. Um, a, a, a just bod yn cyffyrddus. Oherwydd, os ti yn y byd proffesiynol, ti'n gwrs ymwyd ti yn aml. Os ti rheolwyr i mi eisiau chdi, off eich chdi ochr ar eich wlad. Eich bod o'n eisiau hynna. Yn sicr sef oedd i gond da, ond beth sy'n ei ddeud o meiron, eich bod na ddim un peth yn sef eich allan. Mae jyst yn dda yn bob dim heb bod na un um, Cryf deros licid i rili yn sefyll allan i unrhyw reolwyr. Well, Dyna nhw'n wrthi bod bod nhw gyda fe pnawn yma o ran tîm Keikona. Falle, bydd y bala yn bonio. Dyna nhw'n David Jones, dyna nhw'n fenom. Mae'n enwem mawr yn y gêm yma. A mae nhw'n barod amdano chi. Pan ddewn ni'n ôl wedi'r egoel. Mae'r Crew Ifanc yr Academy edrych bod yn chwarae cyn y gêm. Digon o bobl yma ar y graig hefyd. Mae'n rownd arfynol sy'n fyw pan ddewn ni'n ôl nawr. Fix Sprint, a nobby pale draw that is Pedwarek.
Screw Fix Sprint, a Noddy Pale Droid RS Pedorek. Cross on all, I'm Oleg Vad, and I'll cry, Carte, there we go, Kevin, on Heolia, Drone, there we go, Gunter, Tamor. A Balakor, the Heikona, Copan, Nathaniel MG, Ewi. Cuffan y gynghrair am yr ddau dîm yma, ddau dîm profiadol dros ben. Yn barod i gamu i'r caim yn y sylweddoedd yn Saesneg fel arfer. As usual, we have got English language commentary. Mark Jones and Tommy Morgan waiting for you on the red button. Ond, wrth i ni fynd i fyny i'r pwynt sylweddi o wynt edrych Jones ar y ffordd i ymuno gyda'r criwnet. Goff o chi. Bo ceu cona yn ceisio'r codi'r cuffan am y trydydd tro yn ôl yn ôl a bala. Am y tro cyntaf erioed, pwy fydd y mynd â hi. O wain ar y ffordd i ymuno gyda Malcolm Allen a Nick Parry. Good afternoon and welcome to The Rock in Kevin Mower, where Balatong play Connors Key Nomads in the 2023 Nathaniel Cars Cup Final. The Nomads will look to make it a hat-trick of wins in the competition, having defeated STM Sports and Cardiff Met in their last two finals, while Balatong will be hoping to create history for their club by lifting the League Cup trophy for the first time. Alongside me this afternoon at The Rock is Tommy Morgan. Good afternoon, Tommy. Uh, good afternoon, Mark. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. And really looking forward to this uh, Cup final this afternoon. Fourth against second in the league. So, uh, intriguing game. Player being, players being presented. There's one uh, Cardiff City legend there, Scott Young. Scott Young is there. Steve Williams is there. Dave Griffiths is there. And the legendary Kevin Ratcliffe, who I'm sure a few Toffee fans would still wish he was playing for him today. Yeah, certainly what a, a legend. Player. What a player. Absolutely, Mark. Terrific centre-back. And, uh, you know, won the league title a couple of times in a few FA Cups with Everton. So, certainly a legend in the game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Tom. And uh, a few, uh, there's 11 on the Bala side, by the way, this afternoon. Could make their name into the legend status. Were they to lift it cup for the first time in their history? Yeah, certainly be looking then. Dave Edwards, there, he's got his back to us at the moment. He's been a really good signing for Colin Caton. His experience might be vital this afternoon. Two teams. It's the referee for the afternoon and the assistants. I wonder if they'd be still as friendly as this at the end of the game, well, Mark. We're saying it's a big game, it's a massive game. Look, it's a cup final. It's in. January is the first big cup final of the season and there are the teams in front of us. Yeah, both teams look really at pretty much full strength. Bit of a surprise for Bala, a re-signed Adam Rosgrove and he's on the bench with them uh, this afternoon. A couple of players missing for Connors Key as well. And Rosgrove, but, by the way, Tom, has it, it scored two in the cup final before when Cardiff Met won the cup. Yeah, just seeing their line up there, it looks as if... Uh, Venables, Chris Venables, a skipper, will play in the number 10 role behind Newell. So it uh, be interesting to see how he gets on, if he can get in the box enough time this afternoon. Big um, task there, Tom, for Edwards and Smith, if there's only two in there against that four-diamond of uh, Connors Key. Yeah, I think uh, we'll find that a little bit different. I think they'll play three centre-backs, actually. Holmes, Horan and Nash for me. And But Ivan Edwards back in the side this afternoon. He'll be looking to uh, pop up with the goals he loves scoring at important moments in the game. And that uh, front line of Mike Wilde and Jack Kenny will take some looking after. Well, certainly uh, very impressive last season. And there's uh, Kieran Smith there, integral part of Ballard's midfield. More than 200 appear well, uh, nearing 200 appearances and 30 goals. And this, is, this is his fourth final for Baller, and the last time he scored an all important winner, 2016. And there's Callum Morris, another experienced player. And he's adjusted his game, he used to be a very attacking midfield player, now more of a holder for the Nomads, but valuable experience, and again, a lot will be hinged on his performance this afternoon. Well, I'll tell you what, Tom, over the last, shall we say, eight to ten seasons, there's Bryn Markham Jones, one of the top referees in the league. Them two midfielders we just talked about, 
two of the top midfielders in this league over the last decade, no doubt. Mark, top, top quality, those two yeah. players. I mean, I don't think Barra the same team when Smith doesn't play. He's, he is a thirst for work, hunger for tackling, tracking back, uh, and unsurpassed. And obviously, Callum Morris as well. Uh, He's another super player. The big man, Colin Caton, will look to add this to his Welsh Cup win in 2017. Is uh, Noel Mooney, the head man from the Welsh FA, surrounded by a few of the FA. Good contingent there from the FA today. Add to the crowd. Decent crowd here this afternoon. Cup final atmosphere as well, Tom. I, you know, you just have to try and portray to the viewers that there is a bit of a tense atmosphere here ahead of this game as Connor's key kick off Collins key in the all red Baller in the black and white and Danny Holmes hits one forward and Nathan Pete heads away to start the afternoon Ben Nash goes back to the man in forming goals for Connor's key Andy Forth Andy Firth by the way Andy Firth yeah, certainly uh, an excellent custodian for the Nomads. Jack Kenny there, showing, trying to show his strength early in the game. Here, really. By the way, Tom, the two goalkeepers, if kicking the ball is a talent, they're Premier League standard, English Premier League standard, because they can kick the ball for miles, the two of these. There's Venables. He play a, a little bit more outside the box, we should say, today, in that 10 roll. And it looks like he's set up in that roll, Tom, behind the striker George Newell yeah certainly Venables he can uh, show his talent there from the 10 roll all of a sudden you take the throw but it's an evenly matched game this time if you're going to go to a final there's Neil Gibson this team are on a tremendous run at the moment, 21 games unbeaten. Look at the size of the benches now, Tom, in the in the, in the Cymru Premier League. They're thinking of making them extensions on them <laughs> pretty soon, Mark, at this rate. Did you ever uh, get selected as number 20, Tom? No, there's only one sub when I played, Mark. There's Neil Gibson there. wonder what's going through his mind now. Obviously on a fantastic run of uh, yeah, form. Tremendous. Firth rifles along. Pete and Wilde will be a physical encounter, Tommy. I think there's going to be quite a few of them uh, all through this game, Mark. Mendes steps over. Harrington keeps an eye on him. Nash on his right foot. Plays it inside. John Disney will always be there. They've played that out really well, by the way. Really well. Wilde goes to Holmes. Williams makes the run in front of him. Long ball looking for Kenny. Oh, the bounce beats him. Kenny, can he get it back across? He does get it back across. Smith mops up end-to-end -end stuff in the first couple of minutes. Let's hope it carries on like this. Yeah, certainly Kenny just got in behind the defence there, but didn't quite have the pace to get to the ball to get a decent cross in. Just seeing this ball from Danny Holmes there. Cultured right foot right into his path. Arson just misses the ball. I think that's a trait of uh, Jack Kenny, Tom, not giving up on anything. Holmes goes back, John Disney will look to take a touch and get it in first time. Gets it across to Harrington, Harrington to Morris. Morris, plenty of times Horan will stay up for the long one again, and he has stayed up this time. There's some height on the edge of that box. Edwards being marked. First headed away, Kenny gets it in, Wild loops the goalkeeper. Just over the bar. Second ball, key every time for Connors Key. Yeah, certainly. He had Alex Ramsey thinking there with that volley, but aerially, both duels won there by Kenny. Flick on, volley by Michael Wyland. He had the. Uh, hey, that hasn't cleared by, by a lot, you know. No, Tom. he hasn't. That's only really half he had over the top. Didn't quite get hold of it, did he? He just looped it in the air, the volley, really. But uh, good start to the game, huh? Yeah, great start to the game. And as we said, great key battles all over the park. Nash, Edwards. Edwards hasn't been in the team of late. And I'll tell you what, what a battle that'll be this afternoon. Keenan Smith against Aaron Edwards. Arson goes to ground. 
Smith. Ramsey again. He looks like he's trying to deliver to Mendes. Mendes gets in behind Harrington. He'll put it in. Surprised he, he, he's gone wrong to Harrington. Second chance to, oh, he had to put it in. Pulls it back in the end. I think he should have put the cross in a lot earlier. Seeing that, he's pulled it back. It's a good ball to Dave Edwards. Dave Edwards gets the shot off, but it's straight to Dandy Firth. Yeah, certainly. Again, Mendes showing his physical, physical strength down that right hand side. Pulls it back. Is a Tell you one thing, Mark has a decent ball back to Edwards. Edwards should have probably done a little bit better with that effort there. Connors, um, Ballard targeting Mendes out there against Harrington early on. Right yeah. footed against left, right footed left back. Yeah, definitely. Mendes uh, is a handful for Bala. He's had a good season for them, very consistent. It's almost a 4 4 2 against them. Four. Diamond 4 2. So there is a little bit of difference. Horan. Kenny. Williams gets it across to Edwards. Edwards, good touch. Harrington will try and get it in left foot. It's a decent cross, headed away by Nathan Pete. Great tempo to the start of this game, by the way. Yes, wide open at the moment, Mark. Williams. John Disney. They stayed in there, Ballard. They didn't want to get out. Yeah, Kate did well there. He just got in behind Edwards. Bit of physical contact. Aaron Edwards pushing forward a hell of a lot, Tom. Early doors. Arson inside to Edwards. Edwards made a statement in the, to the press in the week that this game means as much to him as any games he played in the Premier League or, or for Wales. That's a fantastic attitude for a 36-year-old, 43-cap time Welsh player. Yeah, certainly showed what it means to him. Yeah, well, if you're in the same team as him, Tom, and he's making a statement like that, it's going to pick you up. Brilliant. There is Colin Caton. What a record. Seven Europe's, I think, in the last eight years. Yeah, and these these are two clubs, Tommy. They're um, they're not massive, massively supported, but they got loyal supporters in there. You know, whether it's not big numbers or not, and there's a lot of it'll mean a lot to a lot of people this cup final today. Well, certainly bought quite a bit of support with them, both clubs this afternoon. Mild afternoon for a change here at the Rock. Not many goals forecast, shall we say. They've been tight affairs the last time these two teams have played each other. Nil-nil the last league encounter a couple of weeks ago, and that's a lot of people's money on there. There's Mike Hayes, ex-Baller, of course. Harrington, Michael Wilde coming deep to win the first one. Harrington heads again. Newell trying to run it into the corner. It's good feet from Newell and a good tackle from Nash. Tell you what, Tom, this referee's going to have a busy afternoon. There are some individual duels out there today. I think the interesting for me is when that first tackle that's going to be a little bit late how is he going to respond to that is he going to dash you know flash that yellow card straight away or is he going to keep it in his pocket that would be the key for me if he has a good game this afternoon sorry for this awkward question what would you do if you were the ref in a game like this would you would you flash the ref the, the yellow or would you give him a bit of uh... I'd, I'd give him a bit of, you know I'd let a couple go first of all I think and then have a word with skippers I think I'd be the other way around. I'd get the yellow because this is going to be one tough encounter. Set your standards early on for me. Wild. Edwards. Took the extra touch and they won't, they won't mind going back. John Disney won't mind going back either. Anytime the centre forwards go forward, you know John Disney's going to drop back in, Tom, as that. Yeah, centre back because they leave George Horan up front to say did there. Arson. The shout was to go in behind Disney. Great clearance in that centre back role. Wild with a touch. Arson and Williams could be a good battle. Young Josh Williams, 18 years of age in a cup final. 
tremendous to be playing in the final at this level at that age and one to watch for the future no doubt Smith Luke Wall up against Danny Holmes X I think they may have played together at Bangor maybe Mark Luke Wall had a great period and uh, Danny Holmes as we know X T N S. Danny Holmes takes a bit of a knock there Tranmere Rovers twist to his knee is it Newport County and there's Luke Wall X Blackburn and Bangor again another good contest physical contest yeah he goes down there he's felt that his hand goes straight up there yeah, it's probably just is that one one of them ones Tom that some of the viewers haven't obviously played on 3G themselves especially the older viewers like my, myself and you but this 3G it can be tacky can it yeah it's, it's not for me it's not ideal at all Mark I, personally I would get rid of it get rid of them all get grass pitches and have a training pitch in 3G end of Edwards, Steve Edwards there. The Baller lads have come over for a uh, chat already. I think Danny Holmes could be in trouble here, you know. Yeah, well, I think he is not the type of player who goes to ground. Yeah. He might well be leaving this encounter quite early. Of course, John Disney could go back to right back. He's played there for many a year, and they could bring a midfielder on. That would be the uh, move, I think. Oh, it's a w I think hell he, of a bang, he, by the way. Yeah, he fell on it, didn't he? John Disney, by the way, I think it's called for a stretcher. So it doesn't look good at all. I mean, that's the ups and downs of football. Danny Holmes has had many great times in this league, of course, winning the league, playing in Europe for TNS. And then he's gone to the ground there and he looks in big trouble. I don't think he's uh, going to be staying on. And here comes the stretcher. That is one hell of a blow for Connors Key, by the way. If there's a Mr. Steady in this league. Yeah, and he's the one who possesses the long throw as well, Mark. Not a lot more reliable players than Danny Holmes. Yeah, what, what the thing is, one thing about he, what he does really, really well is Danny Holmes he reads the game he doesn't have to be a brilliant football he doesn't have to have loads of pace Mark defensively it's all about experience you know positioning um, re reading the game and uh, you know and he he's done that exceptionally well over the last few seasons for that the Nomads Lee Jones there of course ex-Liverpool having a chat George Holland will be disappointed with that he knows that Holmes is one of their key men of course, Tom, apart from today's cup final, they're still in the Welsh Cup and they're still in a running for second and third place for an automatic qualification for Europe. So that's a that's a would be a big miss for yeah. the nomads. But the one thing, Mark, if you look at the bench this afternoon for Koniski, they've got a bit of strength in depth, as have Bala, to be fair. But both clubs are, you know, are now in Verticomas, big clubs. Yeah, Williams, I think it'll be coming on. Yeah, it'll be just a bit of an adjustment. Interesting to see where Aaron Williams will play. Will they now go to a back three? With Nash? And put Disney in there? I think they could do that, you know. Neil Gibson. You have all your problems in football. Not everything's rosy in the garden. He's on a 21 match unbeaten run. And one of his key players in that 21 match unbeaten run has been Danny Holmes. Now, fair play there, Chris Venables. Yeah, tremendous sportsman. Yeah, absolutely. Sportsman, well done, Venables. One thing doesn't look in too much pain there, Danny Holmes. Interesting as well, Tom, because we were looking and they started the game definitely attacking the other side at Ryan Harrington, didn't they? Through Mendes with every long ball from. Alex Ramsey. You'd be interested to see whether they carry on in that now. It's a bonus. You know, it's one man's bad luck as he gets a great round of applause from the Bala fans, especially behind the goal. Well done. 
Well done. Williams comes on. And looks like slotting in, Tom. But right back. The thing is, Mark, one thing I think Connor Ski have got is in the manager, they're very, very well organised. They'll have a plan straight away. Williams takes the throw from the right back spot and Disney stays in the holding roll in midfield. Edwards wins another headed duel. Williams wins the second and Keenan Smith came back on after a five minute stop. Obviously, he'd be added on at half time. The game, by the way, will be a 90 minute cup final. Whips one in. Nash doesn't get it right. Newell tries to spin his marker. Wall gets a shot off and gets a corner off Williams. Yeah, good effort there by Wall. But Newell, really good touch there. Cross comes in from Smith. Good hold of play. Not too sure he meant that, but good block by Williams. Just come on the pitch. This Mendes will go across to take the corner. He's top of the assists. Four baller. He's having a tremendous season. Some early dancing in the area before the corner comes across Mendes whips it right in there great take from the goalkeeper great take from the goalkeeper first corner in any pressure no not for me I'll come and collect yeah but it wasn't the best corner Mark you know it was too easy for the keeper there for me it's too close to the keeper need to take him out with a better flag kick than that Harrington lashes the ball there against Southern. So after 16 minutes in the Nathaniel MG Cup final, Ballatown nil, Connors Key Nomads nil. Wild. Mendes again goes to ground and gets a free kick against Harrington. He's certainly getting the better of the, that battle at the moment. Mendes, the Harrington. Only one winner there so far, early in this game. Yeah, he did do uh, an interview with Sean David in midweek and said how much he was enjoying this league again, Mendes. And you know the score, Tom. When you're enjoying your football, obviously he's got to make you better. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Travels a full distance to take it from the left-hand side. Just stands it up and says, first head. Free-headed, by the way from Wall there, and that's very unusual for Connors Key not to be contesting that. How's he got in there for the free header? Yeah, I think there's a, some miscommunication there. George Horan, Aaron Edwards pointing the fingers after that, who was actually attacking that ball. It didn't look as if George Horan was picking up anybody there, actually. Probably a, just marking space there. Yeah, he's most probably given in the role, Tom, that they, they now call the modern day, they call it the Springer. Oh, chance at his feet, Newell. Oh, he hits a post! changes feet quickly gets a shot off and he's very unlucky it's the inside of the post could be a big moment in the game that should have hit the target on all the question will be for you Tom but I think he's a little bit unlucky it's yeah, a great effort yeah it's good effort Mark but you know that's the difference sometimes a couple of inches that's in nestling in the bottom corner instead of that Connor Key on the, on the move forward. Yeah, Chance Edwards on the edge. Nash has gone all the way forward. Another touch in there. Williams gets it wide. Williams a substitute now. Aaron Williams. Tries to get the cross in. Arson does really well. Wall comes back to help. When you're on runs, Tom, and you're getting clean sheets, you've yeah, got to have a little bit of luck. Just seeing this really casual there. Mendes closes him down. Great effort there. First beating all hands up. Just drilled it against the post there. Really fortunate escape there. Four corners key. I watched Pope in midweek, Tom, the new the Newcastle goalkeeper who's got ten clean sheets in a row. Newell's father, of course, is in the crowd. The ex Everton centre forward. Wild. And for the neutral. And there are plenty of neutrals here. That goal would have really set this game up, by the way. As it is, it's a quick fire encounter. Edwards on the ball again. 
Disney switches it back out to Aaron Edwards Harrington will be waiting early ball will be wanted by Wild and Kenny Edwards offside there Mark yeah too slow getting back I was going back Tom to uh, the Newcastle goalkeeper 10 clean sheets Andy Firth has 5 clean sheets in a row you get that little bit of luck when you go on them runs don't you well he was near that Mark, Mark he, hadn't, he was beaten there he said you, that's a luck you get occasionally ball hits the post but it was really poor play by Nash that gave the chance away you know too slow getting the ball away and gets closed down by Mendes who's been really busy on that right hand side for Bala yeah he's most probably been the most prominent player on the two teams at the moment it's, I would say Mendes for Bala and Aaron Edwards for Connors key so far to be honest Mark I, I'm surprised how open the game has been to be honest both teams seem to be just going for it which is really good for us well it would be Connors key to get a hat trick of wins which is incredible I think he's run offside there, Josh Williams. Well, it's Kenny, in fact. Jack Kenny's just straight offside. Yeah, Connors Key, if they win today, it'll be a hat trick of wins. Bala could win the cup for the first time in their history. I'm just going to ask you a question, Mark. How many teams play two strikers these days in the, up front? Not many. Not many. And that's at any level of football. I think it's tremendous to see. It worked for Kenny and Wild at Flint, if you remember, yeah, and, but, and if yeah. you was remember last season, they scored 30 odd goals between them. And in the modern game, that's a good ratio. Edwards, Williams, great ball from Morris, just spreads a play. Williams has seen a lot of the ball early on. Difference there between Aaron Williams and Danny Holmes. He gets his team the corner. Danny Holmes is not afraid to put him in from the diag, Tom, and not take the fullback on. Williams looks like a bit of a runner, and he likes to take the fullback on. Yeah, I, I probably suggest as well that Holmes is probably a better deliverer of a ball from right back than Williams is from this right hand side myself, but that's a game of opinions. Right, I don't know if there'll be any uh, supporters of Flanetli or players watching this corner, but twice. In the Welsh Cup game three weeks ago, they did this short corner and scored from it. It's usually the tap and Williams delivers. There it is again, it's a great ball in. It's a great header away by Newell. Wow, Kenny was going... Uh, I hope we show that replay there. The height he gets to send the centre forward in defending that was a brilliant header away. It doesn't matter if you've done your homework, Bala have definitely done there, but the delivery is absolutely vital and that was a superb delivery but brilliant defending from Newell Callum Morris ball in again Venables Mendes Whoa, if he meant that that could be a brilliant ball one on one will Luke Wall get it John Disney Disney shows in the outside great defensive play by Disney didn't dive in steadied twice and made the interception Hectic at the moment, this game, apart from a five minute break for the injury. Yeah, you just might see that delivery on the corner again. Maybe not. The game's too quick, Tom. We got another. Uh, got to stay with it. The cameramen got to stay with it. They're working overtime here. Williams. Josh Williams. Ben Nash, Disney will come and just play that holding role and accept the ball all day off the two centre-backs. Horan. Will in runner again, Kenny. When you're playing at the back, Tom, and you've got two six-foot-two centre-forwards who wants it delivered early, it's great. Penables. Nash. Harrington. Disney looking for options. That's definitely a free kick from Keenan Smith. Might be a question or two from the referee. 
Does he go to his pocket for a card? Callum Morris is asking a question. Referee says no. Well, a genuine attempt by Smith to get the ball there. Yeah, I think they're both overstretching, if you like, on that one. Seen them given for it, though, Tom. Well, what you're trying to say is Markham Jones likes to flash the yellow cards pretty quickly, but he must have listened to me then, Mark, and stayed calm today so far. I think he has, Tom. Because you're saying you would have taken no, but no, you wouldn't. No, I don't think okay. it was a yellow, to be honest. But yet again, what intrigues me is the height Balor get here from this free kick. They are not even on the edge there. They're 25 yards out. They're determined to stay out. It's a decent ball in. Again, Newell, 27, George Newell, has been very influential in the air at present. Morris. Still seeing this as 50-50, Tom? Yeah, definitely, Mark. Obviously, Ballard, you know, came with a whisker of nearly getting... Leinster play lead. Cardiff in the rugby tonight. 4.50, great game on S4C. Edwards comes from behind. That'll be a little bit interesting. Edwards says to the referee, no. Aaron Edwards, it was Edwards v Edwards. And Neil Gibson wants Well, Edwards v Edwards there. Harrington. Disney gets it wide. Horan's still up now. It has to go in early. I don't know see why he has to get onto his left peg there. He gets it on wild on the back post. Horan wants handball. Screaming for handball. Referee says no. Free kick given against Newell. Certainly no VR here. But strong, strong claims from the Nomads players. What a handball there. Neil Gibson. Looking perplexed. He's not looking at the ball. Well, there's he? no way that could give us a handball. Is He's it? not looking Absolutely at the ball. Absolutely impossible. Yeah, I, I mean, in the in the modern game, oh. right? They might look to give it, but he's not looking at the ball, like you said. No. Quite interesting. Williams. No, Horan's just pulled to the right hand side, taking Pete out of it. Williams fires it to the back post, looking for Nash. Nash, or is it Venables, gets ahead. A corner given, it must have been Venables. The in front two for Ballard are defending really well in the air. Venables and Newell. Yeah, interesting point you made, Mark. They got a very, very high line, Baller, from these three kicks. But what it gives, it gives space in behind for Koneski to attack. All about the delivery. No short corner this time, it's just Josh Williams to deliver seems to be the set piece king of Connors key the youngster he whips it in with pace again Venables heads away again chance oh Kenny with the header not given offside by the way could well be a chance Gibson knows that could have gone in he gets a connection when he's two yards out and he's onside well, didn't quite get enough on that header from, like I said, a couple of yards out, Mark. But again, great delivery. Ramsey comes for it. Disney with the header. Ooh, should have scored there. No question of offside, was there? Disney, powerful header. If that had been on target. Yes, got a direct yeah. on target because Ramsey had already come for the cross. But yet again, how can this be a nil-nil? 28 minutes on the clock, plenty of goal mode action, plenty of pace about the game. Kenny, Kenny sprints forward, he goes past Ayi Marson. Kenny gets the tackle in the end. Oh, he's given a goal kick. There's a little bit going on in the box as well. Well, I think for me, Kenny is just over on the ball a little bit there, but Arson's really fortunate because I think he actually tugged him back. He was virtually this through. Very, very important. Ramsey. He's having a word with Kenny, obviously saying, I don't think it's a penalty. I think, does Kenny kick it behind or does Arsenal make the interception? No, initially, I think at the edge of the box, initially, there's the foul for me on the edge of the box. Look at this, he's strength, hanging on to him. Strength, strength. Arsenal gets the kick away, it's yeah, a corner. Yeah, yeah. 
no doubt. But look at this year, Mark. Look, he's 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 well. Yeah, no, actually, comes it just comes off Kenny in the end. Would you give uh, Arson a bit of credit then for not making a foul and getting the ball cleared? Pretty intelligent play, actually, from Arson to be intelligent fair. Intelligent play, I would say that he's one on one for pace. He done him. You wouldn't expect him to do it for strength. Arson's back on the ball, cuts back inside. You just, for me, Mark, I don't know about you, it's teetering on the edges oh, in this brilliant. game of exploding into something. Well, if you're going to watch a half hour of football and it's a nil-nil, this has been a very, very keen half an hour. Battles in all positions of the pit. Mike Wilde just asking the linesman, has he been the spec savers lately? Gibson is on to a fourth official as well. Is, this is going off tremendous stuff. Wild, great leap again. Kenny gets a foot in again. Edwards, keepers come. Ramsey, good decision and a good defending from Nathan Pete as well. Venables, Newell. Do you know I like Newell? He, look, he likes to get his shot off nice and sharp, and he just only a half turn there. Didn't get hold of that effort, but a little too. Poked by Venables into his path there, one touch, and he tries to strike, didn't get hold of it, but he looks quite a handful, Newell. You know, Tom, you, you, you come to games, and this is a cup final, it's a cup final for our league, right? And this is the best half hours uh, battle and contest I've seen for many a week on Scorio. It's a brilliant first half hour, and it's carrying on there. I Smith think... might get the first yellow here. Smith might get the first yellow, big one now. Edwards says yes, Morris says yes, follow him. Venable says get away. Mark Jones says no. Referee says no. Michael Wilde as well. Now, players are putting a lot of pressure on referees oh, these days, aren't they? Yeah, I would give that. I would uh, definitely yeah, give that. Yeah, I would give that as well, definitely. Especially in the context of that's not his uh, first foul of the afternoon. Williams and Harrington over the ball. Wall stood 10 yards away. Michael Wilde trying to free himself up in front of the back line. Harrington runs over Williams. Great ball in. Wilde climbed well. Just misguided his header. The veteran striker. Yeah. If I'd really been really critical, I think Wilde should have done a little bit better there. There's plenty of height on this. It's probably getting us up a little bit too early, actually. The he could direct his header yeah, then. It's a great but kick again, by the way. Yeah. Mendes. Well, you couldn't really say, Tom, that defences or attacks are on top at nil nil. Obviously, you'd say, you know, the defences must be on top because it's nil nil. But there's been plenty of chances either end. There's been a pretty frenetic game so far. Mendes doubling up in defence there now Morris helps out Tarrington and does his job well you know to be honest Mark I expected a, a much tighter contest than what we've had so far it's been really wide open like I said earlier both teams are you know going for the jugular oh what a Our Welsh Premier League uh, secretary is finishing this week, Tom uh, Gwyn Derville, he's done a fine job. I wonder if he would have made... This the one thing he lacked in his time here is, is crowds. And if every game in our league could have a crowd like this with an atmosphere like this, it would have pushed our, crowd, our league on even more. Yeah, absolutely. But he's had a great tenure at the helm as Gwyn Derville, to be fair to him. Not an easy job, like we all know. Very, wow. very difficult job to do. As a league secretary, nobody's friend really, to be honest. Every club wants the best for themselves, and he's a, very much a pig in the middle. So, all the best, Gwyn, in the future. Yeah, unanimous from everybody at Scotty. All the best, Gwyn. Andy Firth, a break in play. 34 minutes on the clock. 
one thing's for sure, I think we'll have a 50 minute first half, Tommy. Edwards, Williams, can he get on? No, Williams, can he deliver early? Nah, they, again, nah, they, it was on, it was on. I think, like I said, he's more of a wing back, Aaron Williams. He likes to take people on instead of delivering early. You just got that one shot then, whip it in as early as you can. You've got two six foot two centre forwards in there. Yeah, it's just a, a waste, Mark. Really disappointing because I think he's initially had a chance to get in the box. And one thing about Connorsky, they get plenty of plays. There's three plays in the box there as well. So, you know, it's not as if you've got nobody to aim for. And he's got to go wide. For me, he's got to get that ball in the box. Yeah, and for viewers out there looking, wondering where TNS are today in a competitive cup final in the Welsh domestic system they got knocked out in the first round or the second round by Connors key on penalties all the way back August the 5th yeah that seems a, an age ago now Mark but credit to Connors key getting rid of the well the champions of this season I think without a shadow of a doubt you agree Mark Unless oh, something absolutely dreadful happens. It'd have, to be, it'd have to be incredible because they've reached an incredible level again under Craig Allison. Tremendous. Fantastic to see the youngsters there from both teams. Encouraged to uh, enjoy that afternoon. Kenny, Edwards, Wild. It's a challenge for Ballot. Anthony Kay gets her first, Nash gets a second knockdown. They're so good, Tom Connors, key at picking up seconds from knockdowns. Smith against Harrington. Will this be the first yellow? No. You'll, re you'll really surprise us, Bryn Markham Jones, with a probably very innocuous yeah. yellow for somebody. Maybe for talking back to him. Yeah, most probably because we had a word with him at the start. But you're looking at this in a regular game. No, he pulls out. The referee is having a blinder, Tom. Kenny handball might be given against him he fell down expecting a free kick from the knock behind but he goes to ground says referee are you serious he's given handball against you yeah I don't think Pete did anything too bad there awesome. Kenny's back in it goes Newell will be the target cool. Nathan Pete has taken George Horan out there He's jumped for the ball. He's body checked, shall we say, Horan, and he smashed him to the ground. It's a physical game. I don't think there was any intent in it. Well, he's probably had a frustrating afternoon so far as uh, Nathan Peach. I mean, to be honest, Michael Wilde's given him a bit of a lesson how to head the ball so far in this game. He arrives late, by the way. There is Kevin Ratcliffe. Now there's somebody who could actually head the ball and pass the ball. One of the greatest ever Welsh players in, in our time. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. And one thing about Kevin Ratcliffe, an all-round good bloke as well. Yeah. Tell you what, Tom, we have, must have one of the best commentating spots we've ever had here this afternoon. We're right above the two dugouts, right above the fourth official. And we're right involved in a great game. I tell you who's been quiet. Edwards and Kieran Smith haven't been able to get involved because I think that three in midfield of Disney, Josh Williams, Aaron Edwards and Callum Morris sometimes are just overloading our midfield on seconds. Venables collects. Here comes the first yellow of the afternoon. It won't be the last. Not in this sort of... Well... Aaron Edwards there. Eh? telling the referee what to do Venables pleading innocence let's have a look oh well he led with his arm I don't think there's any malice here you just just when you carry him as high as that you've got to be careful yeah, yeah exactly you've got to be careful Europe you're in trouble with that as uh, Kiefer Moore always did for Wales stays down as well Who's that Disney, is it? I think it is. But 38 minutes on the clock, Tom. It's uh, been a fast...
pacey game. Oh, he does look dazed as well, by the way. Two, um, the two second best sides in the league. Do you think against each other this afternoon, Mark? They're definitely up there, of course, because they're placed in that in their positions in the league, and uh, you know they would be the favourites to make Europe. You love the likes of uh, Penabont and Cardiff Met and people ch chasing them down, but these two are the the regular entrants. Yeah, but both you know clubs have got that experience haven't they of being there season in season out yeah there is a Welsh Premier fixture by the way Thomas afternoon there's a rearranged fixture Penabont play Newtown at Penabont if you're in the Penabont area get down and support the game after the final of course oh, uh, by the way Tom uh, Venables getting a the yellow there received a red in an earlier encounter this season against Connors Key physicality in this game has been tremendous just seeing this uh, opportunity Nash's mistake there gets closed down too casual I'm sure uh, Neil Gibson will have a quite with his year at half time not to do that again Newell yeah he drilled that against the post didn't he he's unlucky Firth Andy Firth oh this game's nil nil we don't know greatly from a chance for Kenny oh he goes to ground as it falls to him should have kept his foot in and just lashed that one in if you look back at that, he lost his foot in as the ball dropped down. Wall being tracked by Williams. At uh, Naeem Arson. The tempo of this first 40 minutes is the quickest tempo I've seen for a long time in this league. It's carried on since the first minute. Everybody knows. The crowd participation, the referees have been asked questions. Great ball in, Newell. He's left that go over his head, Horan there. They get away with one there, definitely. Edwards. I'm sure Caton would like to see Edwards on the ball more, especially around the penalty area. Venables dropping deeper than per usual. Venables. Smith Wall gets inside Nas Arson li likely to deliver but just holds it up and Edwards gets back on it Anthony Kay he's playing there without his boot the veteran there in his Chelsea blue boot just goes to show the compet competitors and that's have a look at this tugging away left handed trying to get that ball it's a keen game almost like two back rows in rugby then yeah, Tom absolutely Arson to deliver good angle looking for Nathan Pete. Pete gets the first touch it'll run out of play it's a good ball in for Nathan Pete. Tom it's a great ball in but I just want a little bit closer, maybe between the sticks. Because you always got a chance on seconds then. Yeah, I think on balance of play... That uh, replay, that by the way, Tom, here's Kenny's a, replay. We're going yeah, through this great, one. It's an absolutely guilt-dead opportunity, that was. I think you, you said, Mark, he stumbled a little bit. But just seeing there... Yeah, he's he leaves left the ground. Foot, left foot near, yeah, left foot goes underneath him, Mark. But yeah, I, I don't think it does. If we go through that again, sorry then, Tom. I think he sort of wants to take it as a, you know, a, a, a side volley sort of. It was a chance, though. Yeah, definitely an opportunity. Well. I think the smart money, as we said at the beginning of the game, would have been on a game between these two clubs with not many goals in. But we've had chances, we've had saves, we've had uh, tough decisions for the referee and a lot of physicality. But the score still remains. Connors Key Nomads nil, Ballatown nil in the Nathaniel MG Cup final. Smith. Arson. Edwards. Edwards just starting to get into this game now. And he's picking up a lot of uh, good ball of late. Wall drives inside. Wall puts it across. Nash 
Gets it away with his right foot. Better spell this for Bala. Better spell for Bala. Last five minutes, definitely. Venables. Yeah, Disney doing that roll in there again. Tommy does very well. Edwards leaves his man. Aaron Williams. Josh Williams puts him in. First touch is important. Yeah, nine Marsons done well. Cleverly runs away with the ball there as well. Be quite interested to see how many extra minutes we get. Has to be five, Tom. Yeah, definitely. Young Josh Williams there. I think he played for uh, Wales schools under 19 a couple of years ago, but what a prospect. Holding his own in a game like this, and he's uh, done really well so far. Aaron Williams. There's another long throw. Anthony Kay gets a first one. Eight minutes added, by the way, Tom. We could be in Qatar. Luke Wall drives at John Disney. Disney stays up. Great pace from Disney and tremendous tidying up. He's tidied up well all afternoon, John Disney. Morris, Firth, three times they tried to clear that. They passed their way out in the end. Nash. Nash think has been caught that, a couple of times. Yeah, one thing, Mark, I think what Connors Key are missing is somebody with a natural left foot on that left hand side. Harrington, every time he gets the ball, he transfers it back to his right foot and narrows, yeah. the, narrows yeah, the play down. Absolutely, like a Naeem Asin or would you say Kane Owen at uh, Pennebond, naturally left foot. Yeah, absolutely. Just lead you out a bit quicker. Red card! Red card! What is this? We've missed something there. Red card for Mendes. This is an incredible moment of the game. Both referees, fourth official, Aaron Edwards, Mendes cannot believe what's happened here. Well, nobody saw that. We were too busy having a chat there, Mark. Don't think it was in view, by the way. But here we go. I'm sure we'll have a replay. Cup final. Mendes will be distraught at this. But it looks like they're going to have to deal with it. Well, one or two of the players, to be fair to them, are just pushing him away because, obviously, he's not very happy. Anthony Kay, with all his experience, is saying to Mendes, if he's produced it, Mendes... Oh, throwing it at the fan. In a crowd. Throwing it at the fan. Well, to be brutally honest, the referee must know a rule, and he's not very happy in leaving the pitch there. I could not be 100%. He's thrown it at a man stood behind the line. Interesting. Yeah. Could you, Tom, I've got to be honest to the viewers. I don't a hundred percent. I'm not sure of that rule. Um, did that some, say something racist towards him? You don't know, do you? Why he reacted in that manner? It's not like him because he doesn't seem that uh, type of player who fires up really quickly. Well, the game, a big change in the game. Mendes sent off four minutes before half time. Well, it will make a difference to the game. It's disappointing, really, because we got a great contest on our hands. Williams, Josh Williams. Bala players have worked extremely hard in this game. They'll have to work a lot harder now. And, of course, don't switch off at half-time. You have the likes of Dylan Ebenezer and company. We'll go through that with Owen Tudor Jones at half-time. And I'm sure we get some response from the referees room Salamendis was sent off in his last game as well which is uh, doesn't do Ballard any favours I, I, I think one thing Mark you know the difference is if you just Tossed the ball yeah, towards him, but he threw it with he a bit it. of venom yeah. behind it. So Absolutely. that's probably swayed the referee's mind there. Yeah, it wasn't a no kung fu kick like Cantona for Manchester United, but you know it looked like there was some intent there. And you made a point, Tom. Good effort here by Wall. Wall's shown a lot of 
pace and yes, yes. ingenuity. Good effort there as well, straight at you did make the a keeper. Point. You did make a point, by the way, Tom, as well, at the time that the likes of Anthony Kay and company were keen to get Mendes off the park once he'd been shown the red. Yeah, absolutely. Morris. Disney. They will overload now, Connors Keane. They'll deliver as many balls into that box as possible. First one goes in, chance. Ramsey comes and collects, and I'm sure he'll slow down a bit, Ramsey. They'll want to see through to half time now. There's four minutes left of this half. Incredible. It's quite interesting, Mark, game. isn't it? That, you, know, we, you know, we criticize Bryn Mark and Jones occasionally, which you're entitled to do. There, did he have an option? I don't think he had an option. John Disney Williams well if Ballard are going to create oh chance for Jack Kenny oh he takes another touch again Ramsey makes a brilliant save it'll be feet up against Aaron Edwards but Kenny's had two one-on-ones in the last 15 minutes and there Neil Gibson shouts finish it and finish it is what it should have been yeah ok let's give some credit first of all to the keeper just overruns it slightly there Kenny after his first touch I mean that's a terrific ball by Williams into his path that that first touch mark just closed the angle down for it yeah, three Go, and to be fair keepers really pounce on it really quickly as well so yeah just three he won't be hanging the goal as well oh Alan Ramsey Ramsey gets a yellow for wasting time it's a boiling point this final now Ballard are down to 10 men there's yellow cards being shown now Horan love to be in both you know top of football people love to be in either changing room now at half time the work Caton has to go through at half time now and the work that Gibson has to go through through it does does a man going off change the game of course it changes the game great couple of balls in from Josh Williams chance what a save from Ramsey brilliant Alex Ramsey point blank I think it was Michael Wild as well who got the shot off Harrington last ditch tackle again there from Keita staying in the vinyl Tell you one thing, Mark, absolutely tremendous defending from Bala. I mean, it's a great ball into Disney. Dinsey, Disney just crosses in there. And, I, you, well, Wilde thought he scored, but it was a terrific save from Ramsey. Flung himself at it, but Michael Wilde, to call that a missed opportunity, that's for certain. But, again, credit to the keeper. Now, two really excellent stops from Ramsey in the last couple of minutes well if you go down to 10 men one man's going to have to play like two men and at present it's Ramsey two brilliant saves in the last five minutes there's a lot a lot to go in this game Tom I'm really looking forward to the next 45 minutes if you're going to win a cup like you said you've got to have a few oh, oh could be interesting very interesting Kenny goes down. Would love to see the replay on this. Oh, he stood his ground, to be fair to him, the keeper there. Ramsey collects. Nothing. Nothing. He didn't raise his hand at all. Shoulder to shoulder. Nothing wrong with that. Tell you what, by the way, it looked worse the first time. Half time whistle at the rock in Kevin Mower. The Nathaniel Cars MG Cup final. It's Bala nil. Connor's key nil. Has it been a Doha nil nil? It definitely has not. Do not miss the next 45 minutes. Screw fix sprint. A Novi Pale Droid and S Pedwarek.
Screw Fix Sprint, a Nobby Pair Droid RS Pedwarek. Round of null, Gunta at Tamar and the best take for Hen and Hamri. A Dakhtesh from Eric Kikona, Anav E. Holmes, a Balantar or Postin, and another Bach, a Kikona. He means an Agosaki Gip your goal, Gunta Hosh Boysig, and now Kerdin, Koch, Elasana Mendez, and a Mateb. Dadlos on the way, have no good. Now Mendez and Tavler Bale at a Kevnogur, I can call you Van von Urkai and Seatha Money. Dim Golia and Digon Il Dravod. And I'm for this fashion, Dim and Travod Savon again. And Digriade Am Hais and again, and you are the Canning Cochna and Seath now. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with my right when I know him. And Dim and Anod have put on Benin on City Cali Date, I heard with. Mendes, the Mamazo Gumeriad, a person sydd yn cochi dymer. A diwn ma'n gwneud i'n byd sydd yn ofnadwy, mae rhaid i fi ddweud, ond dwi'n siarad o safbwynt uh, cyn chwareiwr. Felly, na'i wastad stic y fyny am y chwareiwr, mae'n hwbath i'n cael ei ddweud. I ddweud fod y mat afela, taflu'r bêl, um, ond sy'n i'n tybio dyna dirheolaf, os, os ti'n y mat afela i gyfnogwyr, bod chdi'n gorau gadael y cae, ond dwi'n, sy'n i'n tybio bod na'n chwarae'r ar hyd stori hefyd. Ie, yeah, yn union. Cael, faint o... Ah, dim banter yw'r gair, na'n gyfeir, mae banter yw'r gair sy'n gwneud yn ddiogol. Ar pan chi ar y pan chiar y cae, o, ti'n bod yn yr ar y bant, ja, faint o, faint i chi'n clywed o'r hyn sy'n cael ei weiddio oddi ar y cae. Mae'n mae waith o'r hyn, mae'n siŵr o'r sy'n cael ei weiddio mwy agos. Ie, yeah, mae'r ma, unigol yn ti'n clywed de. Um, mae bach o anodd, pan, pan mae'n agannodd neu milodd yn sgrechian yn eich de, ac yn galwch di'n bebynnag. Ei, mae'n ail fe'n pantiar y cae, ti'n gorau acti o'n broffesiynol, ti'n gorau ymat, Ond weithio mae yna ffyn yn cael ei groesi, felly heb o bod Ben Union sydd wedi cael ei ddeud, mae'n anodd, anodd y mateb gant y cant a, a meddwl ydy, ydy Mendes wedi gwneud yn, yn, yn iawn i beidio. Ie, yeah, siom ar eithrol o ran uh, y bala yn amlwg, siom ran y gêm hefyd. Um, Dim wedi bod y gêm orau ran safon, ond mae digon yn digwydd allan yna, am felly i ddigwyddiad hefyd. Cecon yn credu falle dylan nhw wedi cael cecor smotyn, ond nhw'n on bloeddio wrth o'ch yn y cae. Oedd yna, a ddyliau i bod yn gicor smotyn, um, dwi, dwi'n mawr rheol a dyddiau yma, os mae'r bêl yn taro dy fraich di, os mae'r fraich di, uh, i ffwrdd o dy gorff, mae, mae'n hanbol, dim ots os ti llathan i ffwrdd. A dyna sy'n digwyd, mae Cei yn methu'r peniad, wedi'n diolch yn gwnebu cicor smotyn. Wedyn cyflym fa yma, dim cicor smotyn tro yma, mae Cei'n gwneud yn ddau gyrraedd y bêl gyntaf, ond mae Arsam wedyn, jyst dyfal bar had, cael ei blaen i droed ar y bêl, uh, dim cicor smotyn, felly, ie, yeah, i... Penderyniad yna yn gywir, ond o cei cona jyst yn dechrau adeiladiad. Dechrau gwasgu nhw, a rwy'n efo mond deg dyn, mae'n mynd i fod yn gael y dros ben i bala. Ydy, yn fawr. Achos mae bala wedi dangos flachiadau cyn hynny hefyd. Fawr, sy'n neb di setlo'n iawn yn y gym, ond mi oedd yna hanner cyfleoedd. Fawr, gen i weld clasur fyny'n Mendes di gadael erbyn hyn, ond mae'n newl di dangos am felly gip. Yn dde, yn dde, crwf derg a Mendes ar ochr ddeudd wedi dechrau'n dda. Ac uh, yr ergyd yma gan Dave Edwards, uh, fydd o'n siomedig, ddim di roi cweit digon arni, neu ddim cweit digon cywir, a wedyn y bêl yma niwl sydd i bod yn fygythiol. Uh, wall ydy hwn, mae'n ddrwg yn ei wall, jyst yn brysio i ergyd rhyw fymryn, a wedyn hwn oedd y cyflan de. Um, Nash yn yr amddiffyn, jyst yn ceisio chwarae allan, ceisio bod chyddi bach yn glyfar Mendes yn y mateb, a wedyn mynd am yr ergyd. Malc sy'n meddwl ddylio fod i mynd efo cywir deb tu fewn i droi. Dwi'n meddwl mae'n gwneud bron iawn bob dim yn berffaith yma yma. Fel a ddyliach chi daroi, mae just ber i'w fodfedd o'r ochr anghywir. Felly, mae nhw wedi cael i moment, ond fel oedd yr hanner yn mynd ymlaen, ceu conodd yn cael y cyfleoedd mawr mawr. O ni'n meddwl hynny hefyd, dyfach mae dim fydd unig un oedd yn dadleg yn y malc yma yna am yr ergyd yna. Wel i sôn am ceu cona, mae nhw wedi cael cyfleoedd hefyd, gen i weld am felly un fan hyn, a mwy i ddod yn ail hanner byddwch chi'n tybio. Ie, yeah, bendant, mae ma hon yn un ddyliad i bod yn gicor, Nel Rams i'n gwneud yn dda, a wedyn Williams, uh, bas bach clyfa'r Kenny, uh, fydd Cei yn siomedig iawn yn fa yma, mynd rhy dyn, cael ei droi yn rhy hawdd, Kenny ddyliad fo sgorio, mae mor syml o hynna, ond ar bediad dda, uh, a wedyn Cei Cona, chwar a bach dda yn fa yma, hon di'r cyfle, ti go be, mae hon yn dip i nhw ar bediad hon, mae'r i dwi'n meddwl bod o'n ymateb, diom just yn ei darag. Yn, yn taro'r gol geidwa, Disney'n parhau efo'r rediad wedyn, a ddim jyst yn brysio, mae hwn yn fewn i ardal glyfar iawn, 
efo'r rai chwi, dwi'n cweit i siŵr sydd mae'r diarbed hynna efo'r bêl mor agos ato a felly chwarae teg i Ramsey ei liad a pwysig iawn i'r bala. Ie, yeah, parain ddi sgôr, mae yna ddigon o westau arbennig, mae yna un gŵr arbennig dros ben wrth i fodd. Clywed, fes daw hwn ni wneud cyn rheol o'r cic honno, Andy Morris yn sy'n gyda sioned. Diolch, Dylan. I found a very familiar face to us, Andy Morrison. First of all, welcome back. I've got to ask your thoughts on that first half and just how much has that red card changed in things now? Yeah, I think it has. Um, it was cool. I mean, Bal had the best chance hitting the post, but um, I thought, you know, Connors Key kept the ball really well, moved it really well, and then obviously, you know, that's a major incident. I'm not sure what's happened, but it's, uh, you know, it's a game changer, and I think it'll be a tough 45 minutes now for, for Bal. Of course, Connors Key, a club very close to your heart. Six years there, you lifted this trophy. I guess it's theirs to lose now in that second half. I think so, yeah. You know, I mean, I still, I fondly follow the league. You know, I was in it for 10 years. So you have to have a passion for it. And um, it's there for, to go and win it. But I think, you know, Bala have got some old heads in there and they're very clever and they'll, they'll, uh, they'll certainly suffocate, you know, the last 45 minutes and try and get it to, to penalties. I mean, that'll be their chance. Another club close to your heart, Andy, your beloved Man City. I know you were at the Etihad working on the game last night. What were your thoughts on that win? Yeah, it was a great win. What I took from it was Arsenal are a very, very, very good team. Much better than I actually thought. You know, and it's, um, you know, everyone's saying it's City's to chase them down, but no, Arsenal are a really good team. And I, and I think uh, at the minute, I think they're favourites. Well, Andy, short and sweet. Really, really good to have your company and enjoy the second half. Well, Dim Golia on Digon Odrama van Hen Ar a Greg, Gadar Bala, Lauri Dig, Dean, Manavanedi Dringo, and Arail Haner. Arail Haneri Dodds, Arola Rego. Screw Fix Sprint, a Nobby Pale Droid at Espedorek.
Screw Fix Sprint, a Novi Pale Droid and Esperorek. Goes on all that on it, round of a null, cup on a gang rail. Sidani Pnown Mac, cup on a Thaniel MG, D score out of the goal from the Bala, AK Connor, Bala Lauri Degdin. Fucking Khaled, in the new, in the old, I've done him in the cup on a gang rail, cup on Camry, Penathos Nessa, D seal net, I get a cow. Cannot de seal, Ricky. Penabont, and call that Trefanon, and round the Roy Thola. Trefanon de Bod, a round, Kindervanon, the Godfenola, the Mave, Mendez, but he quicked you. Kevin Corky, the way. Corky Ben, Am Elia, Tavler Bill, at Kevnogur, Bantave, set me the ball and I'm toffy the honey, no honey, at Nick Parry. Well, welcome back to the rock in Kevin Mower, where Connors Key Nomads and Ballard are currently, currently nil nil in the Nathaniel Cars MG Cup final, a massive moment five minutes before the break when Mendez was sent off and the official view is violent conduct you were right in the first period Tommy throwing a ball at the spectator is deemed as violent conduct that's why the red card was processed yeah and Bryn Markham Jones is you know in an excellent position to see what happened and uh, his response was uh, well well he had no choice to be honest as a referee Still a buzz around the ground at half time. I actually spoke to Colin Cape, he was a bit bewildered by what had happened, but I think you know he knows he's got a job on his hands now, he's down to ten men. Okay, I'll ask you a question. If that had been the other way around and one of the Connors keepers had done that, what would he expect it? Oh yeah, no. I, I'm, I'm just you know, I'm just yeah, you know, he's turning sometimes, you know, he's disappointing, but in the cold light of day you're thinking turn things round, see how they think. Well that's right, it's all about discipline, isn't it? And that's the eighth card, unfortunately, for Kate Nam Ball of the season. I'm sure he may look at that. But it could be a big turning point, but they're still playing and they're still going for history. Tackle in there, Smith. Venables. Smith gets a big chance, goes to the ground. Edwards gets a hand on it. Referee says play on and it's really livening up now. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's definitely a foul there. <laughs> Again, the oh. Newell climbs above Disney. Referee says, "Play on." It's going to be heated, Mark. Harrington. It's been heated since the first minute. That's why we're enjoying it. Callum Morris, Williams. Can he get it out of his feet and get a shot off? No, he gets it wide to Aaron Williams. Williams, Arson again. Newell plays it back to Naeem Arson. Arson tries to come inside, but he's closed down by Williams. Wrestles out of it. Can Horan spread play? He spreads it to Harrington. There will be a spare man somewhere. Interesting to see the sign back on, I think, yesterday, 24 hours ago. Adam Roscoe from TNS back on low. It looks like coming on. Scored the winner, as I said, once before in this final. Harrington takes on Southern, edge of the box. Morris, will he take a shot? Gets a shot off. Over the bar. Yeah, plenty of time. Morris here to line it up. Just seeing it from behind the goal here. Really didn't fail to keep the ball down there to pull a save out of Ramsey. Luke Wall it is. I mean, look at that, Edwards, is there. he made a meal of that, didn't he, let's be honest, that is not a bad tackle at all. When he goes through... And this is... No, he dives, the referee's spot on. Yeah, he's probably right well, there. Well, he's yeah. doing well, the referee, you've got to be give for a bit of credit. Substitution being made. Adam Roscoe, and it looks like they're going to go 4-3-2, which is en enterprising stuff. Adam Roscoe will play down the middle. Luke Wall, who was just getting into the game before half time, as you said, Tom. But for me, that says Colin Caton. He's not going to stay in. He's not going to cling on and try and nick a 1 0. He's going to play with two up top and try and win the cup. That'll be interesting to see how this pans out, Mark. 
Arson. Roscoe has pace up the top. Arson fires it across the front. Chance! Chance again! Oh, goalkeeper puts it behind Andy Ford. Just wouldn't fall at the feet of the striker Newell. It was a great ball in from Naeem Arson, who started to press well for Bala. Yeah, superb play down that left-hand side by Arson. Clips into the near post. Really nips in there. Can he take right foot in Tom? Yeah, possibly, but Nash got caught in his heels a little bit there. And the keeper does well in the end, kicks it out for a, a corner. I mean, were Bala to get the first goal now? What a brilliant second half and it's set up with their ten men. Arson whips a corner in. Chance. Goalkeeper first comes in, collects and miss. Callum Morris gets a free kick as Venables closes him down. The speed, the pace of the game carries on in the second period. Yeah, Andy Firth has got away with one there. Yeah, not too sure about the standard of goalkeeping there. Just comes in absolutely no chance of claiming that one. Yeah, I think he's blocked off, by the way. Well, he's blocked off by his own players, I think, yeah. more than anybody else. Southern. Kieran Smith. Smith inside the Venables. Spare man, though, is vital. And one thing's for certain, the, the back two are going to have to work really hard for Bala. If Bala are going to say we'll gamble against Kenny and Wilde as two on two, it's a big task. Williams. Kieran Smith. Smith will run all day. Southern. Michael Wilde tracking back. Had the chance, Tom, to go into the clubhouse at half time. The big question from everybody to us, of course, was what happened as the cross comes in. And as we said, violent conduct for the red card. Throwing a ball to the spectator, as simple as that. Edwards. Who don't you want to leave free now, Tom, as a spare man if you're Bala? Ball into the mix. Ramsey collects two goals. Ramsey's been tremendous so far. The thing is, Mark, it's a gamble, isn't it? As a manager, you've got to, you know, pray that things go for you. And that Konoski sort of consider the game as, uh, you know, done and dusted, which is definitely isn't at the moment. Cups are made of fairy tales, they say, Tom. Ten men down to ten men in the first half against a team who haven't been defeated for 21 matches. What a way to create a fairy tale for the little town of Bala. Ramsey, is he in one of them moods where he's not going to get beat this afternoon? Nash wins the header. Edwards. Ramsey comes and collects. I'm sure Edwards will be the spare man now, Tom. He'll try and... If Kenny and Wild are going to be marked... Kieran Smith or Dave Edwards have a big job tracking Aaron Edwards. Yeah. Because he's a natural, he's a natural 10. Nash gets the header back to Firth. First time I'll mention it, Tom. If you're a Bala supporter or the Bala manager, you're down to 10 men. Are you taking penalties now? Accepting them? No, I don't think you would at the moment. Wow. Uh, uh, you would? Yes, definitely with 10 men, yeah. Against a team who haven't been beat with 14 minutes to go. Williams for Tyrone. Venables just gets enough on him. Couldn't afford to make the tackle once he'd gone on him, by the way. Venables is on a yellow, don't forget. Yeah, and lucky there. Williams, right idea. Didn't quite have enough pace to shrug off. Venables there though. And the... He's been good. Newell has been busy all afternoon. Just that chance didn't go inside from him off the post. Yeah, I mean that's a striker. You just when you get half a yard edge of the box, you try and hit the target. And he did that. <laughs> Unfortunately, he came back off the frame with a good work. Nash gets her first before Newell. Kenny with a knockdown. Edwards. Dave Edwards gets on it. Tries to thread it through, but Morris again 
Spare man in midfield, Disney, Edwards and Edwards again. They're having some fine duel in there, them two. Southern. Almost the ball in behind. Newell again competes against Horan. What, would, what sort of story would that make, Tom? By a man who's been out in the wilderness for the last two months on loan at TNS if he came back and got the winner signed about 24 hours before the final, Adam Roscoe. Yeah. Disney. Just a little bit of pace gone out for the last couple of minutes. Williams with the ball in, Ramsey collects. Well, that's too easy for the goalkeeper. I mean, Williams again. I think they're definitely missing Danny Holmes out on the right hand side. Just that quality of ball coming in from the flank. Smith will work all day in midfield, and Edwards, they're both going to have to put massive shifts in there. Southern seeing a lot of the ball now. Good triangle of passes there. Roscoe. Smith put in behind John Disney will cover again shoving the back free kick poor free kick to give away in such a key area what is John Disney doing there? wow well, the thing is with Disney I saw him he glanced up there he knew what was happening he knew the ball was going to get over his head and where was Smith going absolutely nowhere down a blind alley but a lovely yeah. little ball by you know Dave Edwards that's a little quality you get from an interna former international when he gets into them kind of positions I'll tell you what, I would not want to be John Disney in the changing room after if this were to go in. Because that is a, such a foolish free kick to give away. Very unlike John Disney. Naeem Marson, what does he do? Does he arrow it across the front at pace? First head at his key. Whips it. Chance! Oh! Worked a treat for Bala. Great kick from Arson. Great run from the centre back. Just got tipped over. Absolutely, again, wall it is. And he's hitting the wall all the time at the moment. And the pictures are a bit greeny there. Arson to take the corner. Back post again, Anthony Kay gets the header, wins the duel, heads it behind. Horan wide to Williams John Disney dropping in at the back again Callum Morris Kenny trying to hold off Nathan Peat but again the defender did really well Closing down Kenny early on, the ball goes back to Alex Ramsey. Still, Tom, tight game, anyone's game. Yeah, certainly, Ball have coped really well, just been a man down, to be fair to them. Percentage-wise, I was going to say, percentage-wise, since the half, I would say most probably Ball have had more percentage of the ball, even though they don't the 10 men. Yeah, certainly, created a few openings. Disney, Josh Williams in midfield, dropped into a bit of a five there on the ball, no baller, Disney inside to Williams again, Callum Morris on the edge, wanted it first time, gets it now from John Disney, Aaron Williams, elects to come inside, Disney's got to go in this time, flips it across the front, Edwards was waiting at the back post, Roscoe fires it forward for Newell. Nash marking Newell tightly. Yeah, good intervention there at the back post by Nathan Peet. Just got a few technical problems at the moment with the screen, so we'll carry on with the commentary. Edwards gets it across. Ramsey again. Handles really well as Jack Kenny runs across the front of him. The sun shines out at the rock in Kevin Mower. It's really been safe. 
handling wise and save wise Ramsey so far is in this game Nash the one thing I, I think if Ballas need to stop doing is playing long balls up to the two strikers because Nash and Horan are just having a field day winning yeah. those headers you will want a few first up in the first half which may have encouraged them but like you said yeah the spare man as well Harrington getting a run at Dave Edwards Edwards will stand him up great tackle Edwards cuts inside and retains a ball great play Anthony Kay fitness levels Tom will be asked questions of in this game substitutions will be key yeah certainly looking at uh, the benches of both teams I mean James Davis Rutherford Ross White so they have plenty of options Bala Williams stands on right up again it's just a poor delivery from the right hand side going back to what you said about the loss of Danny Holmes it's been a big loss it just hasn't been delivered that well from the right hand side yeah certainly the quality has been really really poor from the flanks and that's you know from both sides really four corners key Harrington you know loves checking back on his right foot because he's not a naturally left footed player Harry Franklin is being brought on here by Gibson be interesting to see who comes off probably uh, the youngster I'd have thought uh, Matt give me some fresh legs Josh Williams may well be the one that departs it's Aaron Edwards by the look of me that's, it. that's surprising for me very very surprising with almost an hour on the clock yeah he's gone for Franklin as the extra forward it's a big task for Williams now to play in there even against 10 Arson, great ball from Arson. seeks out Roscoe he's got to hold it up there and look after it Franklin will add more width interesting to see now where they play Franklin as a left wing back and Williams as a right wing back Williams Disney the tactical duel is taking place now the 11 against 10 Gibson has changed his shape ball in Ramsey collects Michael Wall just leaves something on Ramsey and he goes down holding his head. Referee, I should imagine, would have to blow. Yeah, certainly. Ramsey has been dominant in the air this afternoon. Yeah, so going back to the likes of Alex Ramsey, Tom, goalkeepers, as we know, they mature and they usually get better. And he is one of the better keepers in this league. Now his experience, his know-how and his number of games played in the league. Yeah, certainly been around a long time and does count for a lot. Newell gets the flick, Roscoe chases after it. Corner given. Harry Franklin chased it down in the corner. First goal, absolutely vital, Tom. Yeah, I tell you, it's a vital little flick on there by Newell. To Roscoe. Naeem Asen. Will it be the same set play? He arrowed it across the front for Anthony K to run from the back and flick the last one on, or will he stand it up to the back? Arson. Goalkeeper Firth punches clear. Goes down off the ball then. He's holding his head in there. Referee sees him with a head injury and blows up. Have to stop the game. Par for the course when a goalkeeper or an outfield player goes down, as everybody knows, though. Head injuries. Well, a the baller player is obviously market not happy with uh, with Firth there. But it is what it is. I think the interpretation of that rule is down to the referee, but any head injuries and it's automatically game stops. Yeah, Chris Venables is going up there to pick up Andy Firth. Firth. 
no rush at the moment from the nomads but no guilt edge chances next Saturday yes Bossy's coverage Six Nations Wales against Ireland all the action starts again and let's hope Wales have a good campaign under the guidance of their new manager Mr Gatlin Kay back to Ramsey Kenny closing him down Ramsey clears well Rostro one on one out here He's just got to get in front there of uh, Ben Nash. I'm surprised how much he was one on one then, Tom. Yeah, not too sure if Franklin's uh, the answer at uh, left back. Or Edwards left. trying to put Roscoe in behind him, maybe offside, I think, if he touches it. Drills it across and gets his team another corner. Well, it's been three corners in the second period and they've all gone to the team with ten men. Yeah, to be fair to Bala, they've. Uh, done really well I think as well Connors Key have dropped off Mark and the, the change of shape they've done to their team hasn't really kept them flowing like they did in the first half that's for sure Arson comes across again to take it from the left hand side the intensity the physicality and the chances in the first half have definitely died a little bit Arson fires it in punches away for Okay. Callum Morris go back George Horan will take a touch and just clear his lines Horan clears his lines ball beats K Kenny tries to get it across since they've gone down to 10 then Tom Bala I think Dave Edwards has been tremendous he's got on the ball a lot more and he's kept it when he's got it yeah I think what he's done he's dropped off a little bit deeper into midfield Obviously, he's got plenty of experience. And that's what counts, experience in these type of games. Yeah, but he's two other compatriots in midfield. Venables and Smith are both on yellow card, so... Uh... You have to be careful. Smith gets it wide to Oliver Southern. Roscoe, yeah, Roscoe will make more runs outside the centre. He's not afraid to go wide, Roscoe, because of his pace. Edwards, great ball in. Newell gets the flick. Gets it before Horan. Again, enterprise in play from the Lakesiders. Connors Key haven't conceded a goal for a month, by the way. They've knocked Ballard out of three cups in the last couple of seasons. But they're having to work extremely hard today to get some sort of authority over their rivals. Oh, you get a free kick. No, Franklin. Likes a shot, Franklin. Gets a shot off. Smith. Harrington is gone to right wing back now. A right back, by the way. They're still playing with a four. Newell, great ball into Edwards. Edwards will be looking for the run from Roscoe. Yeah, Edwards there, pointing to Roscoe. So That's the run you needed there, inside the full back. 67 minutes on the clock now. Credit given to Caton and Bala so far for their second half performance? Yeah, definitely. You know, they've got plenty of experience in the side, Mark, so they, they've kept themselves in the game. Don't look like conceding at all, to be honest. Defensively, look pretty solid. Arson. Very unlike Nyan Arson. Just gets it in. Gets well, it wrong on the cross. Been talking all afternoon about the quality from the opposition, Connors Key and uh, Arsenal let himself down there. It's been 45 games between the, these two teams in the head-to-head. -head. The Nomads have won 21, Bala 14 and 10 draws. Bala last beat the Nomads on September 2021 with Dave Edwards getting the goal from a free kick, I'm sure. He'd like the chance to replicate that once again. Got a decent free kick, if I can remember correctly as well, Mark. Harrington. I just think, at the end of this game, Mike Wilde and Jack Kenny. Kenny's had a couple of chances, yeah, OK. If I'm Mike Wilde, I'm asking why that ball hasn't come in quicker. You're an ex-centre forward. Oh, I'll be tearing my, my hair out. Mark, the thing is as well, Williams has come on and he hasn't really impacted on the game whatsoever. I wouldn't be surprised if he'll get substituted, to be fair. 
Mike Hayes, for me, could do a much better job down that right hand side. What ex baller? Yeah. 69 minutes on the clock. Nil-nil the score. Ramsey looks for Roscoe. Franklin comes in from behind strength. Anthony Kay does tremendously well there to bounce pass Kenny and win the header. Edwards again will put his foot on the ball. Try and keep it. Keenan Smith. Smith tries to round Franklin. Get something out of it. Smith keeps it in play. Brilliant from Smith. Smith! Oh! The Kieran Smith show. Takes two on, running down the line, gets a shot off left footed. Just a little bit wild with the shot, but great effort from Smith. But to be honest here, Mark, I, th I thought the ball had got over the line there. But he perseveres. Watch this. Is that ball across the line? Ooh, no. not all of it. Dances past, but he's just lost at the end there. Newell is in the middle. Difficult angle to score from that was Franklin. I, I mean, I could pose this question to you many a time, Tom, but first goal or winner? Yeah, it just, just looks like a 1 0 game, doesn't it, Mark? Or a 0 0. Neither Josh team Williams. really looks like beating the, the opposing keeper. Too slow, too ponderous. Yes, too slow. Harrington again. Arson clears. Newell has really worked his socks off. He's made just looking at Newell there. He's just starting to feel the pace a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think James Davis has warmed up a few times here. He's trying to tell the manager, get me on. Yeah, he's most probably just keeping him on a little bit, a few more minutes but for set it, plays. The thing is, Mark, if, if there was extra time in the game, you could see why, but... But there's not. That's a big point, Tom. Yeah, good good point you made there as well. But actually, ab absolutely wasteful. No wonder Gibson is frustrated. Is it the kind of day that uh, they keep knocking the door and it doesn't open and the other team snatch a 1-0 win? Because... The danger when you've been on such a good run as they have is that it comes to an end. How keen or unkeen are you, Tom, for 90 minutes straight to penalties in a cup final? Should it be afforded an extra half hour or...? 100% Mark, I, I, I think so. I'm with you. The special event, the cup final, I think they should have at least the uh, extra half an hour. Yeah. Roscoe wins a header. Franklin, Edwards with the tackle. Franklin had a great period towards the end of last season at Aberystwyth. Earned himself a move to Connors Key. I think it was the TNS manager, uh, Craig Harrison, who signed him. Nash. It's really difficult for the two strikers, isn't it? You know, to hold the ball up and then for the midfield players to go up and support you. They just just after a good spell of 10 minutes, Baller just start to look a little bit weary. And have Connors Key taken this thing out of the Baller second half? Disney spreads it wide. Touch from Franklin. But I'll tell you what, Southern's done well all of a sudden because simply no one's gone round him all afternoon. Mark, you know football, that from Franklin, terrible. First touch is everything, gives you time, gives you space. Terrible touch that was. The dice has been rolled by both managers, and now we really are going into goal winning territory as Roscoe battles against Nash Horan. The other thing, might, you know, with the clock ticking away, 70 minutes left, Mark, the age of the midfield of Bala, Venables, Edwards, Smith, all 30 plus. Well, Smith's just 30, but. The other two, well into their 30s. Franklin goes round Edwards, clips it across the front, great headed away from Nathan Pete. It's just got their first all afternoon, Pete. It's, Michael Wells had a quiet day. Yeah, I, I disagreed with that. First half, Mark, when they got the ball in early, he caused him all kinds of problems. Now, in the second half, there's been no service whatsoever to the two strikers, absolutely nothing. Yeah, OK. That comes from a centre-forward... Uh, Chairman of the Strikers Union. There's a uh, Mendes there. 
Betty regrets what he did yeah. earlier in the game. It's one of those type of days where you want to forget him when you get a red card and it's just down to whatever you've been not involved often, in yourself. Sorry, man. Not often you get uh, two red cards in two weeks, is it? He'll have a lengthy spell now. I think two red cards is six games, isn't it? And that's key. There's only ten games to go in the league season, by the way. And he's a top player for Bala. Newell again. Oh, he's climbed again. Won the first header. Kenny. Wild wins the header duel against Nathan Pete this time. Smith. Good first touch by Ars and it had to be. Can he ask a question? Horan heads away. Disney. Edwards. It's no hole now for Bala when they get the ball, like you said. Edwards and company. Just misguides his pass. Southern made the overlap. I tell you one thing, Mark. Connors Key, for me, have lost the plot. They certainly don't know what they're doing, or seems like it anyway. For a team that's so well organised. Yeah, so what we're saying is they haven't dealt as well with Ballas' 10 men as we thought they would. We thought definitely at half time the talk was from everybody that they'll come out Connors Key and try and put this to bed. They simply haven't. Smith. They're used to scruffy wins, and no win is a scruffy win in the cup final. Neil Gibson will tell you. And anybody knows anything about football, it's all about getting the win. Absolutely. It's about getting over the line, Mark. Williams. Harrington. Spare men on the edge. Caton calling for his men to get out there deep. Now they are deep. Franklin, can he get the shot off? Edge of the box, Disney. Disney. Great tackle from Arson. He may have given the corner away, but it's a tackle he had to make. Yeah, Harrington uh, just catches him a little bit late as well there. But patient build-up yeah, by the Nomads. Nobody really wants to take responsibility, do they? You know, Disney had an opportunity out of the box there. Let's have a shot. Let's open the ball. Open your body out a bit. Williams, no short corner. Or will they go back to the corner that uh, gave him that victory down at Lanedley again? course another man out of the box now means one less in there for Bala great close down from Arson brilliant close down hooked away oh chances on here can Roscoe get a run but Darren Williams wanted to spread it then to Ollie Southern couple of seasons ago Adam, Ro Adam Roscoe may have got out of his feet Tom and tried to run that full back then it's yeah. all about confidence he did it in fact in the winner if we go back to when they beat Cam Bryan and Clitter 2-0 in the final yeah a couple of goals in that occasion Franklin starting to see a bit, lot of the ball looking at Venables and Edwards tracking back now Southern yeah for me he's been one of Ballard's better players this afternoon Venables incredible from Venables, 37 years of age, still running end to end. Newell, Southern, will he get the shot in early? Crossing early. Callum Morris. Jack Kenny did tremendous end to keep that run going. Williams, again, overload on the right hand side. Can Dave Edwards get back in? Cross, isn't a great one again. I wouldn't want to be in training on Tuesday night if they're doing crossing Connors Key. From the first moment you said when their crosses have gone a bit wayward, Tom, the last seven or eight haven't come in at all. Are you a good reader of the day? Game or are they having a bad game? Wild. Newell's been everywhere. What yeah. a shift he's put in. But, you know, all credit to Bala, they've defended really, really well. So far, incredible stat in front of us, Tom. Now, the, 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 the nomads, Kenny, can Disney get a shot off? Work great again from Keenan Smith, incredible. 
Josh Williams. The last 26 games these two have played against each other, Ballard have won three. Oh my gosh. They're just looking a bit bereft of somebody with a bit of quality in midfield, haven't they? 80th minute approaching. 85 minutes, do you start thinking about your penalty takers? Arson. Naeem Arson's had a great game. Simply because I don't think he's played with anybody in front of him, Tom. No. I think you, you've already made your mind up about your penalty takers probably in training this week, Mark. You, he's you, got to that you know, standard now. Yeah, you know it's going to be a close encounter, probably. Nothing to choose between the sides. So, And two of the league's best keepers in goals. Yeah. Alex Ramsey and Firth. Well, one all was my pre-match prediction. Tom, what was yours? I didn't have one. And you've dropped out the Scorio's prediction league because you're doing so bad, have you? I'm just a mid-table player, Mark. Ramsey. Horan. Kenny flicks on. Wild wins a header against Pete. Got that experience, haven't they? In the key positions, Kay in the middle of the back, Mark and Pete. And then Edwards in midfield as well. Tenor Bond. Hennebont Hollywell next Sunday was the trailer we just missed there. Sunday the 5th. Big game. Hennebont seeking two you two routes to Europe. Yeah, certainly uh, that'll be an interesting game, Mark in Hollywell doing really, really well. Your in friend, the North. Your friend still in charge of Hollywell? John? No, no. John Hazeldin is the He's the manager these days and he's done an exceptionally good job. Just really unfortunate probably for Hollywood this season. Colin Bale in such good form as well. So, But I'm sure that'll go down to the wire. Looks Who's like go Neil Gibson is going to throw on Joe Macon. I expected that one. Two substitutions he might be making. Jack Kenny maybe for you? Maybe, maybe a penalty taker, Mark. This early, Tom? Yeah, nine, minutes. nine minutes left. Rutherford is coming on for Bala. Malkin and Hogan are coming on for Connors Key. Interesting, you said that singing his praises earlier. Oh no. He's coming off here. Oh yeah. Lucas Hogan will be coming on. And Joe Malkin. Rutherford. Yeah, it's Newell, by the way, he looks like he's coming off. He's yeah. run himself into the ground. Great performance, son. Absolutely covered every blade of grass. His yeah, chance for hit the post was most probably the chance of the game. Kenny's gone off. Kenny has gone off. And as you call, Tom, Aaron Williams has gone off the substitute. Yeah. His contribution has been not the greatest, but not a very nice been a substitute and then been substituted but managers have to make tough decisions and Neil Gibson's just done that now. Yeah, so Franklin has gone as the right-sided sort of wing back now. Rutherford will play up alongside Adam Roscoe. And the ex-professional Rutherford, as you just said, bound to be one of the penalty takers, isn't he? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Kenny. Had a, Kenny had a good first half, should have and could have chances, had, yeah, yeah. a couple of good opportunities to break the deadlock. Joe Malkin scored in the Welsh Cup a couple of weeks ago. Can he get a goal to win the Cup for Connors Key Nomads? A hat trick of wins it would be for Connors Key Nomads. A history making first win it would be for Bala. Seven minutes left on the clock. Every commentator and neutral fan loves a penalty shootout. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know whether Colin Caton. And Neil Gibson does. Well, it, you said, Mark, I think possibly at half-time they'd have accepted uh, that we, if for we can see it out. Yeah. For me, it's a, yeah. it's a moral victory for Ballard that they get the penalties. Newell's done tremendous. Short corner, have they switched off? Rutherford whips it across. Firth comes and collects. 
good goalkeeping that Mark very positive goalkeeping yeah. you know and on the balance of play Mark you you I feel th disappointed if somebody does score yeah, now yeah especially maybe the 10 men yeah Yeah, well, I don't know whether you could hear Colin Caton then above the, our commentary. The shout is, and it's a basic shout, hit the channels now for Roscoe. Harrington. So for you, Tom, one of the key moments of the game, and for myself, I think, would have been the injury to Danny Holmes early on. His quality from crossing from the right-hand side, which you did say at the time it happened. Oh, great ball in. Oh, fell at the feet of Malkin. Yeah, didn't great run by the youngster. Into that space there. Shows he's got an eye for goal, eye for space. Went into it. Nice weighted pass as well by Harrington, but he really didn't quite get hold of it. Ramsey again. Must starting to feel a bit of excitement these goalkeepers they know that they're going to be the main men in five minutes time or is there going to be a late goal Edwards wanted a foul again they've overloaded on the right side can he get out to Franklin a bit earlier and Franklin deliver some quality yeah but Franklin, Franklin bring it back onto his left foot yeah. tries to he's been poor as well since he's come on Mark yeah and that, yeah. He, he just look, he doesn't look up to tempo of the game yeah and Naeem Arson does he's yeah. had a great game I think obviously he's been out the team cup for you know quite a while, hasn't he, Franklin? It's probably been a really, you know, a disappointment for him. He joined the club when Harrison wanted him, yeah. And another manager comes and probably maybe doesn't fancy him, or you know, has it failed to you nail a place down the team. It is nail biting in front of us, just below. Just to let the viewers know, both managers has been into the fourth official already and said how many minutes added on. The thing is, it's not up to the fourth official, is it? The referee decides how how long is left. So Connor's key are definitely. We've seen him in the past. Oh, he's in. Franklin, can he switch it? Hogan, step over, tries to drag it back inside, but again, Southern. The two fullbacks have been tremendous for Bala. Venables, the runs on from Rutherford. Rutherford will get there. Horan, superb play from Horan. Whoa, that is a big, big, big yellow card, or is it red? That's a red mark, I think. Well, debatable, it's going to come out. It's red, it's ten aside. Right in front of the referee's eyes, overstretched, he's left it in, Edwards is injured. Has to go. I think he accepts he has yeah. to go as well. I think George Horan knew immediately that he was in mortal danger there of uh, getting a red card. Second red card of the cup final goes to George Horan, the captain of Connors Key Norman. When centre halves go charging into midfield, Mark, and he just Whoa. yeah, he just lost control of the ball. Yeah. To be fair, he didn't lift his foot up there. He just does catch him, doesn't he? He just. Yes, yeah, it's what, it, just, what could yeah. have happened, I think. They yeah. say, don't they? It's the uh, what could have happened. Luckily for us, Dave Edwards has got back up. Yeah, he's an experienced player as well. Edwards, he probably saw that coming. Williams, Roscoe will try and get it across. What time to get a goal now? Surely for either team, it'd be the glory goal they've both been looking for. Just can't keep it in play there, Hogan. Southern. It's Ballard who are pressing to try and get the winner now. If you are you slowing it down now, Tom? Or if you're a penalty taker, you're hoping somebody scores. Um, Shall we just, Tom? Sorry for me putting in there. We're in the 89th minute. I thought the first 45 minutes was a tremendous advert for our league. The second 45 since the sending off. As you did say again, yeah, it's taken some stick, you know, it's taken some of the venom and the uh, man on man contest out of it. Yeah, that, obviously, the sending off changes the, the sway of the game, as they say. But to be fair to Bala, they've stayed in it. 
and now it's even Stevens for the last two or three minutes or however many minutes Bryn Mark and Jones is going to add on there's some experienced players out here I'm, I'm starting to I'm not even a manager, Tom. I was once, but uh, I'm starting to pick penalty takers. Venable, oh, there's a ball of fans behind the goals. Venables, I got down for one. Dave Edwards, Mike Wilde, Josh Williams, a youngster. Since then, since when you've been an expert in penalty takers, just sp just spotting them from the gantry. Well, it's taken me many years to get this one in. With the last team to knock TNS out of a cup on penalties. Sorry about that, Tom. Wild. When was that? A long time ago. Morris. I think penalties were 13 yards then. Franklin, they're still pressing forward, the Nomads. Three minutes added. Early ball in. Anthony Kay, 40 years of age at the back. Anthony Kay's put a terrific performance in. Alongside these two fullbacks and Nathan Peake, Venables throw in there will obviously be a five minute break at the end of the game we will obviously come off for a break if it does go to penalties and come back when the penalties are taken so don't go away red button viewers Franklin Hogan swaps wins this time. There won't be no rush for this throw. Nine mass and the clock is counting down. The game there yeah, now is just being played in that last third. Any uh, 90 minute man of the match from yourself, Tom, before Malcolm's once again? Um, I think Dave Edwards has been uh, a contender. Smith as well. I think Nine mass has been tremendous for me. Rutherford defensively as have the Alex Ramsey's two saves they were goal scoring saves Smith Bala can they prize their way open Venables doesn't want to give the ball away Rutherford stays on side will he keep it in the corner or will he put it in and try and get the winner Rutherford swaps feet gets a corner how interesting is this how interesting is this Bala in the last minute, maybe the last kick of the game is a corner. The big men are up. Nathan Peach being amongst the goals this year, Tom. Yeah. Malcolm Allen gives the man on the master Kieran Smith, which is a smart decision. He's worked his socks off and been everywhere. Can't argue with that. Arson under sells a free kick. Venables. Arson, another corner. It's got to be a better delivery this time. 92, there's 40 seconds left in the game. Whoa, what a dramatic finish of this Whoa. goes in, Mark. Arson, has he got the energy to fire one in? Nathan Peter be the target. Headed away by Wild Edge of the box, Smith. Oh. Got it out the ground. Yeah, I think he's seen the name Disney in front of him on the back of John Shirt. <laughs> Overall, of course, both teams keep clean sheets. I think, to be honest, Neil Gibson will be the most disappointed of the two managers. Yeah, having... never took advantage, Mark, of the yeah. one-man advantage. Yeah, one-man advantages they had for the duration of the second period. But it'll all be forgotten, Tom. Once this penalty shootout comes about, now we will have the final whistle. Referee blows the final yeah. whistle of a very, very interesting 90 minutes. It goes to penalties at the Rock in Kevin Moore. The Nathaniel MG Cup final goes to penalties. Final score, nil-nil. As we said, if a break comes in in a minute, we will be back in. But very, very tense indeed. We will be back with drama. Screw fix sprint and nobby pale droid RS Pedwarek.
Did you do that, Screw fix sprint. A nobby pale droid RS Pedwarek. Welcome back to The Rock in Kevin Moa, where penalty shootout is on us. Venables against Andy Firth with the first penalty. What a tense moment. Yeah, it's in the lap of the gods now, Mark. One of the most experienced players and top goal scorers in this league over the ten seasons has the chance to put Bala 1-0 ahead. Venables. Oh, what a penalty from Venables. Stand up and be counted. Back of the net. Top corner. What a penalty, Tom. Yeah, superb strike. He went for power. I'm not sure the, the accuracy was pretty good as well, Mark. But he just drove that into the roof of the net. Great start for Bala. His mind was made up, Tom. Yeah. Takes the plaudits. And the main penalty taker for Connors Key Nomads, Callum Morris, who scored many over the years. Interesting for me, Mark. They've put in their best penalty takers first as well, both teams. Why not? Morris against Ramsey. Morris steps up. Oh, as cool as you like from Callum Morris. Did the shuffle, goes left, puts it past Ramsey. He's been hard to beat all afternoon, Ramsey, and it had to be a great penalty to beat him. One yeah. apiece. I think there's a bit of verbals going on there, Mark. It just sees reaction there. Just, that's a cool penalty from Callum Morris. Just side foots it. Yeah, go and pick that one out. He goes to uh, the goalkeeper. How long, how long is that walk up, by the way, to take these penalties? It looks 30 yards, it most probably three miles to these players. Dave oh. Edwards, with all the experience in the world, to play for Wales. He's had played in a Premier League. He's never played taken a penalty in a cup final before. Edwards against Firth. Premier League player against a Premier League Scottish goalkeeper, Andy Firth. Edwards. Oh, it's a save from the big man from Scotland. Firth makes the save. Full length save. Firth put saves from David Edwards and it's the first miss of the afternoon yeah a bit of a slow run up there just made it a bit too easy for me for Firth wasn't struck with any venom either disappointed penalty from the experienced Edwards oh, there yeah, Edwards will be disappointed Harry Franklin walks up now every penalty now is vital they're vital anyway but if a team has just missed against you you just got to go up and put this in the back of the net to take the advantage Ramsey Franklin the substitute against Ramsey. Ramsey makes the save. The pressure's on the takers, there's no doubt. The goalkeepers have had brilliant games in the 90 minutes and they're proving it again in penalties. Still, one apiece. Yeah, nice height for the goalkeeper. Bit of psychology going on there as well. Rambo doing it. Bruce Grobler there. Adam Rosgro has been in the wilderness the last few weeks stands up now to take a penalty for Bala as we said he's been the hero in the cup final before for Cardiff Met can he be for Bala Rosgro against Firth Rosgro right in the corner quality penalty right in the corner from Rosgro Tom that was a top draw penalty Mark, you don't stop them. Chucked away into the corner. I see, you know, it's a big, big thing to get the first, you know, when you're taking the penalties first, Mark, it does give you an advantage if you're ahead because it puts an enormous amount of pressure now on John Disney. Yes, John Disney makes the walk. Ramsey, full of confidence after flying safe for the last one. Disney against Ramsey. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Gives the fans behind the goals a kiss and a wave. It's two apiece. I'm sure he's having a bit of stick, wasn't he? Off those fans behind yeah. the goal. You can imagine, you can, the, the, the pressure, Tom. There's pressure watching as a fan. There's pressure just talking about it. You can imagine the pressure they're under when they're taking these kicks. Yeah. If you've got the likes of Ronaldo and the likes of Harry Kane can miss penalties, 
think of the pressure on these lads. Took his uh, took his time there, John Disney, didn't he? To be fair to him. Is this the first defender to come up and take a penalty? Interesting. Anthony Kay, yeah. all your experience, 400 league games, 40-year-old centre-back who's had a fine game, stands up to take a penalty. I'm always asking for my forwards on midfielders to take them. Anthony Kay. Drives it into the back of the net, Kay. Any questions asked from the commentator? Push shoved right back down. Brilliant penalty, brilliant penalty. Yeah, push bar again in pole position. Guess uh, if you notice, Mark, Mark, a lot of keepers they dive, they, do, they can't dive high, can they dive across low? When you lift it there a bit higher into the high, higher into the net. Yeah, well, the golden yeah. rule is, Tommy, you've got to make them save it. Youngster. Malkin, yeah, yeah, he's just come on, a lot of pressure on him now. Joe Malkin really is a net of couple of hundred Bala supporters behind the goal Malkin stops up so key now Malkin brilliant strike from Malkin Ramsey goes the right way but all of a sudden it sounds a su sudden death Tell me, Mark, 10 out of 10 for the youngster a lot of pressure on him there and he absolutely emphatically puts out in the roof of the net 3 all after 4 penalties Rutherford was brought on again experienced pro professional player comes on Andy Firth has made one save what price a second save now Malkin has played his part we're here Tom this is it sudden death Rutherford against Malkin oh it was Rutherford against Firth by the way and he just slots it in Puts Ballard in pole position and puts plenty and plenty of pressure on the next taker. Brilliant penalty from Rutherford. Yeah. For me, like, the goalkeepers seem to go very early, don't they? They made a mind, they make their minds up really early when they're going left or right. And Michael really, Wild, Tom, yeah. has seen and done it all in this league. Golden boots. Surprising, isn't it, that he's taking the last penalty when your best players go early and you'd have thought he'd have gone early in this uh, shootout not wild, wild against Ramsey this could settle this contest once and for all Wild Ramsey is the winner Ballard are the winners they win the League Cup for the first time in their history Colin Keaton adds the League Cup to the Welsh Cup they won in 2017 Connors Key Nomad don't get the treble Ramsey the hero Baller holds the Nathaniel Cars MG Cup. Yeah, Ramsey's afternoon. Excellent save from the custodian there to win the trophy. Take it back to Bala. And probably over the 90 minutes, he has been pretty emphatic in goal. Kept a clean sheet in the 90 minutes. Dave and Edwards will be the happiest man in the ground having missed his penalty, but it's the team effort. And there's the man in the picture at the moment, Alex Ramsey. Wonderful save again, by the way. Yeah, superb save. And as I said, you went early. Read Michael Wilde's intention and tucked it into the bottom. Well, didn't take it in the bottom corner, just saved it and it's all over. There's the chairman there. What it means, what it means to these people who've supported this club over the last 10 to 15 seasons. They finally lifted the League Cup. They've lifted the Welsh Cup. Obviously, disappointment for... Connors Key. Yeah, Neil Gibson and Connors Key will have to go again in the Welsh Cup and in the league. It's hero to zero in penalties, and unfortunately for Connors Key, there's Can't one hero. Alec Ramsey. You just won the league. How are you feeling? Yeah, great, fantastic. Just um, great that we've won a penalty shootout. We lost to Sligo in, um, in Europe. Practiced them on Tuesday, which I didn't agree with, but the penalties were great. I thought we deserved it. I don't think they had the shot on goal in the second half. We were down to 10 men for all of the second half, basically. Great desire, great everything, and um, great to get a cup that we've never won before. 
And what about that second half, Colin? Considering you were a man down for the majority of the second half, you mentioned before the game about team spirit and how important that was going to be, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, we said at half time they were going to have a lot of possession, they were going to get balls in the box and stuff, but I don't think they did. Mike Wilde's there, the target man, he didn't have crosses to feed on. And they didn't, they didn't punish us and they made subs to ask questions of us. The back four was immense. We knew they were always going to have a chance. We took a chance. We put in Roscoe and um, Newell up top and then Roscoe up top. You know, we could have sat back, but we went for it. And great, Keen Smith could have gone through and scored. But great, fantastic for everyone involved with the club and thanks to Scotty on everything. And another trophy for yourself, Colin. Yeah, great, yeah. I haven't won many, but that's a good one and um, we needed it. Good, thank you. Colin, enjoy the celebrations. Yeah. Come on, Colin, crack us a smile. You know, Christian, there, God, I did it, Chloe. As for Adrach, I have a golag vaithma. A football to all the Kenny, Velpetai, Gadar, Chore, where I went to Dear Jones. On a great kind of game. Him, Breeder, Bala, and Nichrobet. Poiva, the Liadol, Poppet, the Guidot, and the game of Mamma, and who's even he got it up on. Yeah, Ben Dance. I want to take me the Nunhevi, or stand in a session that Hannah Kinsan Din, out in Bala, Lauri, the Ekdina, Aman Hubrid Gweld. Uh, Iliata Velma and Coloki Gummine CE voice of Dave Edwards. See what he does in eighth of the weather. Nathan and Velkaitsen are brought the eight crowds. See if he can mind CE Bala. Not just Club Pell Droid on the ear pen ear dre heavy. But he, Guichi the new Avelni son, me all the known heavy. Performant Isle Hanner Aruro. Dave Edwards got a Ruth Crump heavy. A Rakai. When you tell me, Synchronoir Bala, I'm on even the trainee. A good for the old world, Shayol, our Kruver, Sidicali Denny, and now my story of Ritz. Our Captain Kochna, I'll have more of the door, I'll look him along, and you've got Dana Lach now on the fourth list of no matter. Colin Caton and Great Men and Danny, Kieran Smith, Dave Edwards, we're well sorry, Gipolog, Pambore, Gestel Kruver, Venable, and not sure, they're game and good, eh? Other than a week, Bobby in a honeymoon, and my Reich, the vote in Erbin team will kick on a Pansy Lowry, the egg dean, Governor Gunnot, Governor that die down in a Masotto. I can am the final, is sharp no, or the no drevenis to spend, and no nothing eighty nan of the cake on now, the Maricora and Amlug on Bala, me with the Norsi Bother, or me Vina, Vathli, Slusara, E. Colin Cates, and see Wedi Calidula, Cupan Cumbri, Mahon and in a Honeco, even that's a CV egg, eh, for a Tegi Bobby and Onino. Cake on that, I mean in all, Imedale, my super than Unshamedic, Cross Ben, of course, on the Corridor, and the Kenta, Governor of Provia, the team you shot him a Provia, don't. Did the Guido? I'll have them. Yeah, it's a good thing to see the mint. Chris Bach and Vui Trevnis, I'm going to have a good time. Chris Bach, Mui, Tim Nidum Drech, and Rauch, and Gubber Race Final, Dion. But I didn't know what Poppet, Ivan, and Rail Hanner, and I can't keep on them quite as soon as that. The Larva, I think, well, Shower Moor Bale, and Ivan, and Kurtz Cosby, and the Savon and Wild. Or the game, they were young, and just the, not just the tray and all that, and the Bale and Kurtz the Kurtz Cosby, or Anna Savon, with Hun, and 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 Without K Connect, I'm doing sure on hey, my Western and Ace, well, then no club are a good pan in the day. We are in Holly Ken again. I K Connor, I'm a Chudder Tronal and all. Nair Bala, I'm a Chalk and Ta Erioid, but then Codder Cup and Yervin Gweldani, and in all at Nick Farry. There's Kieran Smith going up to collect his medal. What a game Kieran Smith had on Steve Williams from the Welsh FA hands out the medals. There is the goalkeeping hero, Alex Ramsey. David Edwards collects his first cup final winning medal. Tommy, uh... yeah, big contribution for from David Edwards in midfield. To be fair to Bala, in the second half they controlled the game, even though they're only ten men. Just think that uh, Colin Gibson's men really. We're void of any ideas, never get crosses in. You know, they're much such a, a direct team occasionally, but today wasn't their day. It'll be, like we said, their first time they've won the League Cup. Steve Fisher comes along, he coaching alongside along side his boss Colin Caton. Caton will be a proud man. He's been with his club such a lengthy period. He's lifted the, his second cup, the Welsh Cup was his first. Venables there. There's Royal Valentine, of course, ex football league. Steve Crompton there. Steve Crompton also, and he is the captain. He's put his penalty away. Scott Young is there, as well as Kevin Ratcliffe. They will present one of the Welsh Premier legends, Venables, with the Nathaniel Cars MG Cups. The winners for 2023 are the Lakesiders.
And they're about to celebrate in front of us. Ballotown! The winners of the 2023 Welsh Premier League Cup. And they celebrated in some style. Yeah, absolutely. Great support here. Thank you, brothers. The team behind the team. I've done a terrific job. Thanks very much, Lucas, for the whole time. Scorry, my dear. Well done, my dear. Well done, my dear. Can a club of my favorite, but you've done the Spartan back in the Yes, it's a good beef, you know. It's a new run club, a good red one that didn't see that go. I've been a best thing on die and it's not to be them in shoe on the same team. So I think I keep on the guest of the Elman Cup fan. I think I hear Nick and Bucky and Bobby and I, hey, my team like them fantastic. My name is even high in that. I think well, Ramsey, not just the kicker, Smotin. To go back, I thought game that young heavy than a goal. I'll be the other more, more boys. I'm not in, so I don't know what to do with that. I can't turn on, I guess. An Indian. And now we've got he did in him. I went in my couple of the other can go to his honor of of more boys. What did you see in the other medal? Hey, the best thing about that is that only Arago Panama is going to be my only. I want to more than only the Vendi he can clear spots in. This is a good man round of an all. Just a attention a pop up and and come to draw sword right there. And he's mandic with an an animal, isn't he? Ma ma hinan factor envar just attention. At him he's about a person he needs a kind of merit. And don't even seem like that now. Or they've gone heavier than he just in Guelph. Then a pamper than he travelled in again. They'll pamper day noisy or an spear of that team. Well, he didn't quite ensure set my hand in the event, but he didn't send that Guelph game the score. I went in, he got a lottery. Although I'm going to go on, he's going to be hanging around a connect or Larry Degden Air. It's like he can't know where he's been in a habit. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be called Trafford. I'm going to be Trafford. I got a champagne. The man who came with the kick here on Smotin. Man of the road team lads did all all the good fans a club heavens. I've only got a couple from Arakai Chrewer, but it's got a Daniel club in power by Shayo. Right now by Shayo and a poor boy Shayo a good fans a club. So he goes to Morgale to draw something other. I'm more proud. Go power by Daphne to get it. And they Bobby in a hundred of them. Because man, I come on to life. Not just Bala, Bobby in our club here. But quite Kallach in the Gwyth all again. And I'm Huckle. Man on here Daphne. The Tony and draw so wide. Moya Matev draw on your chonet. Kieran, huge congratulations. Can you find the words to sum that up for us? Uh, no, I think it was, you know, it was a tight game. We always knew it was going to be tight. As soon as you went down to 10 men, it was just a case of backs to the wall. But I think we almost played better second half with a man down. And I think we got a just rewards in the end with the, with the penalty win. 2017 was the last time Bala won a trophy. Was it worth the wait? Yeah, I remember it well as well, obviously. And um, yeah, I mean, it means a lot to everyone. And yeah, we're absolutely delighted. How much does this mean to the club, Kieran? It's massive. I mean, roof knives. Everyone you see how emotional they get when they win trophies, and it just means the world for everyone. Kieran, you are our man of the match. Have some more champagne. Sean Ed, Orsi Vos and Hanol a champagne. Just a guy roller and go blim. Dinner dipping up, dipping up there and bala and on. Man on hazy daffy on my shoulder. Beef, Colin Cates and Villa Sean Ed and Dave. My right, I'm lucky on. Pick a point on my game next. I came good then. Your match, my right, my high, my right, daffy. We should have never had to keep a nag man on my antenna. Okay, here, but here, crew, we've been coming. It's the dolly. He didn't know what he's going to hit. Here, bala, he didn't do not. We should now not so even high and sick here. Oh, I'm Jack Callon. I'm a company. Jack. I'm a company he have it round of an all a cup on wedgy goddy a vanity son troop noun I'm a chalk canta erioid a bala city great honey my noon's athlete cup on camry the seal nessa I'm plowing the bala here we have the oil about the key tara the mark all the way then why that up team and cardi cup on a hen synchron high pale droids Tipping on the ball, I don't care. 